All right, me. tell me two things at Opa Locker that I need to go visit. It ain't Publix. It ain't Publix. Y'all f with me for real? <laughs> like, I mean, that boy's serious. I, yeah, no, nah, G shit, right? Nobody invite me anywhere, bro. How do y'all feel when somebody asks you when you about to pay for a service, what's your budget? Oh, I hate oh, that question. They trying to janky what? promote us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how long do it take y'all to get in the shower? You feel me? How many times are you trying to fix a relationship before you just give up? If you was a crackhead, right? <laughs> Where would you get high at? Open locker. <laughs> Welcome to the FSP podcast. It's your boy Motive kicking it with the Stoner Crew. That real now? Still ain't figured the Stoner Crew part out. You yeah. feel me? Our community done got to that point. It's the like ass crew. Yeah. Oh, we <laughs> need a. We need a. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's a rebrand. We man. need a navy name. Like, I'm gonna keep it G. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it G though. I think it's it. just the handles that we had to like clean up. Like what we say on here, like I, uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, it's we'll it's, it's a it's a it's a tough thing. We about good. to be legal anyway. Then what we gonna the do? The stoners go back to floss. They're gonna drop that shit to schedule it, three. I feel like it could be as legal as you wanted to be. You feel but I mean, it, it's some companies that still don't want to be a part of. It's definitely going. Yeah, are we having a side come on? But nah, you feel me? Back up in there. Damn. Damn, it's like, damn, monetize would make me don't want to curse or nothing. that. Back up in this bitch. Wait to 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Number one podcast in the world. The world South crazy. Florida, United States, whatever you want to call it, you feel me? We back up in here. Yeah, man. How y'all feeling today? You feel me? We got JP in the building. What's going on, family? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? We got Dan, son of man. Son of We man. back. I'm back. <laughs> we're current yeah. guest now. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. We got a real burgundy in the motherfucking building. I'm here. I'm here. It's been a it's been a while, but we back. We back. We got a little audience That's today. You feel me? Everybody in the building. You feel me? You know, if you hear um some input in the background, you feel me? I don't want to say who it is because I want them to have that freedom. To like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm ready to let it off. You feel me? I wish <laughs> I'd be having that freedom sometime. If I was behind that camera. Oh man, I'd be saying some no, crazy. What they call that Boy. podcast in a, in a minute? That's the burner account scene. <laughs> you feel? Yeah, bro. I like so I'm gonna start sitting over there. I like Boy, that. Burn I would be saying the some crazy account. shit. I'd be having. Boy, I'd be having to chill sometimes. That's it. That's the burner account, Mike. I like that. But yeah, I'm gonna start sitting over there. Nah, that's yeah, I'm spot. telling you, bro. That's that's really the spot over there. But yeah, we got a very special guest up in the building today. You feel me? I'm let her go ahead and introduce herself. But we do have Stash House Miami in the building, man. Let's go. Hey, I'm Shauna P. I'm the owner of Stash House Miami and also Shoe Heaven Co. Mm, the only black owned shoe store in Miami Dade County. Mm. And I have one of the hottest boutiques in Miami Dade County right now. Talk that, that, that talk, shit. Talk that yeah. talk. Like you feel me? That. Love to hear like that. Talk that talk. You see, some people be working. coming in there humble, <laughs> be like, oh yeah, I just I just do me. I'm just a regular. Nah. Mm -hmm. Fuck that. <laughs> Nah, we I here. Know exactly who I am and what my business is. That's real now. Yeah. Okay, now. All right. Question one. What is a boutique? <laughs> He's like, what is a boutique? I'm very confused. You know what's funny, dog? We never tell him who's coming. We don't yeah, tell don't him nothing. Knowing. He don't be knowing nothing. I'm he so really out of the loop. So all these questions is actually genuine I really as fuck. Know. Yeah, he really be wanting He's to know. He's learning and meeting you here for the first time. He like, might I not even knew about the boot ticket or nothing. I don't. And that's that's why I ain't asking no questions before because I wanted to wait till we got on the thing. It's cool. So, so um, the definition of a boutique is realistically a store that um, curates a small selection of clothing. So the Roar Boutique, we took it to another level now, like the black community, we use boutique as a clothing store, but the official meaning of boutique is a store that carries limited amount of pieces. So you'll have three pieces of a certain item where everything is exclusive, but now boutique is just a common word, buzzword that we use for a clothing store. Is it a storefront or is it online? Both. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. So three look, locations. I got a question. Excuse me. <laughs> Talk that. Excuse me. Three, yo. Three. Talk that. Working on three more. Damn. Because I, I feel like the question, the, the conversation me and Jerry just had is a perfect ex a, uh, example and a chance to ask a business owner. When you started your business, how did you start? Did you start with nothing? Did you save money? Did you have guidance? Like, how, what, what was the process of you starting your journey? Yeah, I want the people to read it to know me. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, 
I went to school for fashion design and merchandise, so I've always been in the fashion industry um, from being a stylist, um, model representation, working from different brands, clothing brands, that type of thing. Um, I was actually a stylist before I opened my store. Mm -hmm. I was pregnant and I decided that I didn't want to be a stylist no more, no more because it was so demanding. So I said I needed to do something else. So I said, I'm just going to open my boutique. And I literally opened the store at $1,500 and just winged it. Damn. My rent was nine seventy five. I probably had like four hundred dollars left, and I used all of that on merchandise. I painted everything myself. I did all of the fixtures myself. I did the floor myself, and then I guess sixty days later, that's my lifestyle now. That real, yeah. okay. That real hustler shit, right? Sound now. like the studio. Yeah, but you know what? Like that's a uh, so that's a good example because I think if I well y'all probably ain't gonna be privy to what we was talking about early, but. I feel like you either need to start with either education or like yeah. work under somebody and then save up and have a bag. Mm -hmm. So like you started with 1500, but like you said, you were, you was a student of fashion and you understood the industry. So where well, you probably ain't have like the capital, you had the knowledge. I had the knowledge because right. I worked for different stores before. So I already knew how I wanted to run my business and how I should run my business. Right. It was just a matter of doing it. I didn't really have the money, but I knew everything to do. Okay. Yeah. Was you plotting on it while you was still at, still working your last job? Like you was like, damn, I can't wait to get out of it. I'm gonna start my own shit. Well, I'm I can't. The wardrobe stylist, and that's something that I love. That was my career goal at the time. Cause you said it was demanding, and you had the kids, so I know it was probably like a, all right, I gotta find something else. Or was you already thinking about it? No. So when I had the kid, I stopped styling. So I was like, stay home, stay at home mom for like a year. Mm -hmm. Um, when I started putting in my mind, okay. I knew I didn't want to date that guy anymore. So I had to figure something out because I he was taking care of me. Yeah, the escape plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good old escape plan. Um, but no, relationship is all good now. But I knew I didn't want to be in that. So I had to figure something out for myself. So I actually, I drove Uber for a while. I drove Uber for like three months just to get the money up mm -hmm. to open that store. How was that for you? Um, this is when Uber, I opened my store in 2017, so Uber was really new. Mm -hmm. um, it was sweet, but the reason why I stopped, because something got really creepy, and like a guy started calling all his homeboys to the car, I left them, and that was the last day of me driving. Oh, that, really? yeah, that shit crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just okay. Um, as far as being a business owner, what's your, your favorite thing about it, and what's your least favorite thing about it? Uh, my favorite thing is the freedom. I could do whatever I want, whenever I want, however I want. Facts. You get to just wake up, clock in yeah. when you want to, All that. clock out when you want to. If I don't want to go to work, I'm not going. I have that luxury, mm -hmm. and I feel like it's really rewarding. Mm -hmm. But the downfall is it's a lot of work. Like, yeah. employees is a lot. Mm -hmm. Some people don't consider the overhead. They just see the Money outside in. product of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's a lot of work. Like, I buy merchandise every mm -hmm. day. It's a lot. Instagram, models, photographers. It's a lot. Yeah. That's the worst part. I think the worst part is really employees. We had this question, um, I think last week. So when it comes to friends and discounts. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, that was, yeah, that was a little minute. I have a friend over there right now. Do you get a discount? Oh, I... That real? You real. ain't my That's friend real. if you need a discount, dog. But <laughs> That's how I be. No, that, I, I, was, I was saying it as a two-part question because it's like, as, as your friend, should I be giving you a discount, though? But you know I also have like, friends that come and be like, oh, can I come get this from the shop? I'm like, yeah, it's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're like, oh, can you call them? No, why? Oh, they like, want that there. exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. So I, See, I have I don't, I don't, that aspect too. I don't be with that discount shit. My friends got businesses. I be just going mm -hmm. and spending. You feel me? Like every time yeah, yeah. like one of our friends open, uh, we get on Twitter. We talk about it. Yeah. We get it gassed get up. Get trending, yeah. Go drop. Everybody drop 50, 100 a piece. Get them going. That's how you're supposed to feed that momentum Because how the discount going to help them. I mean, you might wear it once or twice, but at the end of the day, yeah. you ain't even going to value it as much because you got it for the low or for free. But I also feel like everyone doesn't have those core values, values of let me feed into something else. Everyone doesn't have that mindset of, oh, she did this. Let me go support her. Yeah, yeah, everyone doesn't have that mindset like that. I'm glad. I'm just. I'm just not remembering. We used to do shirts as a like merchandising because we had our record label, and we used to set aside a certain amount to give away for free. And now that I'm thinking about it, like that's smart too. Like mm -hmm. if I got a 500 count, I might set aside 20. Like this is what I'm gonna share with people for the free. Whether it's just a free giveaway or something for my friends, everything else. 
got to get sold for a price. But I, I think that was like more, we didn't know what the terms and stuff was, but that was like creative advertisement. So we're yeah. like, okay, mm -hmm. we're going to give it to the most lit girls, for sure. our homies who got reach. And that's what we was giving it to. Fast forward when we understood business, like, all right, that's an investment in the advertisement. So like in your business, do you have, like, how do you approach advertisement? I would say in the beginning, I did that um, same tactic. I found all of the popular girls in Miami and I just reached out to them. Hey, I'm going to send you some free clothes. Can you just post it on your page? And that's literally how I ran my business up. Mm. Yeah. So now I, right now I don't really do too many paid advertisement, but mm -hmm. it went from the local girls to the Instagram girls to the celebrity girlfriends. And that's just what I just kept hitting, hitting, hitting. Right. And pretty much everyone, like now everyone wants to get paid for content, mm -hmm. but everybody was taking free merchandise. Yeah. Everybody's like, oh, can I wear your stuff for free? Yeah. Everybody was doing it. Now it's a little bit different. Everyone wants to get paid. But in the beginning, it was sweet. That's literally how I um, marketed my business. Let me ask you this. Because we was having a kind of a conversation. If you sponsor somebody, when 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 mm. do you feel like you should pay them? Like, when do you feel like it's beneficial to pay them? Like, what what do you base that off of? What do you scare that off of? Um, I've had it. A few different ways. I've had top influencers that I had to pay them everything up front mm -hmm. and just hope that they really do what they said they were going to do. And then I also have other people who I'll say, once you post the content, then mm -hmm. I'll pay you or I'll pay you 50 percent. And once you finish it, I'll pay you the rest. No, I mean, like, mm -hmm. when do you feel like what? what's the word I'm looking for? When do you feel like. <laughs> He, uh -oh. Nah, not even. You talking about the, the like, uh, conversation the, we was having? Yeah. yeah. Uh, when do you, you feel like it's uh, beneficial to pay somebody? Like, you trying right. to say at what point in yeah. in the in, in the my business or there? No, um, like in general, at what like, point in the judgment. business you run a business? Wow. You look at that person like, oh, I should pay that person for a, um, a promo. You feel me? Or this person should only get free stuff. Like, what makes you benefit uh, off that? Do you um, look at the numbers? Is it I look at the numbers. demographic? They're following. I like to see the insights on their page and how active they are on social media. Mm -hmm. Because someone can have a huge following. They're not posting pictures. Or you got to have a buzz around you. If you got a buzz, I'm paying you off a rip. Oh, really? Okay. Because I want my stuff posted right there and right there. If okay. I feel like you don't have a buzz, I'm going to say, oh, free product. Oh, $100 or, you know, something like that. Okay. Yeah. That's real. Right. That's, that's leverage and scarcity though because it's like if you unavailable then now the scarcity like you feel me that's gonna make me say all right i gotta pay you to get your attention and mm -hmm. then leverage like you said if i see your numbers crazy you know of course there's some value attached to that so it's a negotiation but you know some people never negotiate some people start negotiating too early you know thinking that they um delivering value because they might be hosting a club or something like that but it's like no nah, i need my business to get a hundred thousand impressions per post mm -hmm. or whatever you're looking for and i'll say away um now i look more at the numbers because i fumbled on promo with sexy red for 250 dollars because <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh we got a million of those stories <laughs> yeah i'll just finish that don't worry because Where do we start? i didn't believe in what she was and that was like insane for me and listen we were supposed to have tia kemp on here when she first started popping yeah. now nah. Yeah. Sorry. Took I got Wiz the Wizard in my DM right now. I, I just looked and I'm like, damn, he was offering like features bro, a million times. It's, it's a, a Meek Mill, Wiz, Wiz, Wiz y'all boys, y'all boys. Yeah, yeah we, it's a million of those stories, but you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you like, never mm -hmm. know. Sometimes it just feel like even with the Tia Kim situation, I like, uh, do I want to pay that money? And then she be like, have five minutes of fame, ten minutes of fame, and now she on like an eight nine month run. I'm like, and it's only going up. And I'm like. <laughs> Damn. What I learned for that is, like, I'm a risk taker. I'm taking a risk on everything. That's mm. Like, now, I'm taking a risk. Yeah, now. Yeah. I'm taking a risk yeah, on everything. Not, even <laughs> now, we see how it goes. I'm go, taking like, a risk yeah, on everything. Yeah, yeah. now. Nah. Okay. The, the famous quote this nigga used to use, chances make champions. Chances yeah. definitely make yeah. champions. Yeah. And money burn anyway, because of that money you ain't give them, you don't spend it already. Let me go spend that on definitely. some, some salmon. <laughs> <laughs> a fancy dinner. You feel me? Like, like I said, Sam, we on the same page. Yeah, We're going bro. straight to the restaurant. Straight up. But um, y'all got any more questions? Y'all know me. I'll be ready to get you to the me? bullshit. Yeah. Anything, nah, let's get to the bullshit. Fuck it. Anything else you would like for people who may not know who you are to know about you, yeah. where to find you, what it is that you, you're an expert of? 
Um, I'm an expert of everything fashion. Um, I'm located in Opalaka, right across the street from Jackson Soul Food. Mm-hmm. Um, the reason why I put my store in Opalaka. Oh, I know your store. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so now y'all know what a store yeah. is. Oh. Yeah. Um, the reason why I put my store in Opalaka is because I'm from Opalaka and I wanted the people of that community to see that if I can do it, they can do it too. So we have so much foot traffic of kids that pass by and I just want them to know that I'm setting a great example for something that they can do as well. That's mm-hmm. facts. Yeah, that's you the from? worst place ever. <laughs> it is, though. What are y'all telling me, bro? Opalakians is the worst oh, Miamians oh, ever, bro. Where are you from? Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I can't say I'm from just, all Miami. That's my brother. Like we, yeah. we grew up. Like, Michael, Michael, Michael. We from like, we from the city. We from the city, top. and we, we we moved up top. You feel me? So it's like. But I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere. I'm Opalaka all the way to the Grove. I'm about to say but Opalaka, Opalaka City, Opalaka, Carrot City, and everywhere, bro. Right by the state. I spent a lot of time. Opalaka is fun though. I ain't gonna lie because it is like. It's just like the Grove. It's like a it's a bigger version. Like it's a village. Everybody know each other. That shit is crazy. It's just like Man, a little small for crazy. For me to see them two still room. together from like first kindergarten, yeah. and that's okay. like all of okay. us went to school from pre K on up, and they still together. Like, like, where'd you go go? It, but no, <laughs> <laughs> you don't see that from there, bro. But you don't see hey. that from every hood. People still be close. You're like right, that, cause we could go to other places, bro. What is <laughs> no, 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 you can't say that because we all ventured out to other things. No, I'm Damn, just saying, all right, me. tell me two things at Opalaka that I need to go visit. It ain't Stash Publix. Exactly. Huh? He said it ain't house. Publix. <laughs> no, I, I mean, Stash, Stash House for sure. Stash House. Give me, give me two two other things. And Opalaka, that is a must I go. Like, oh, I'm in Miami. I ain't gonna go I ain't, I ain't and do something. <laughs> Hey, y'all yo. got nothing but warehouses. Hey, they on your ass, Marshall Park. I, I, I say every time we bring yeah, up my like, stuff. Opalaka like, got them warehouses that you <laughs> got like some wild nah, shit. We, in we, we respect, that's, we respect that's Opalaka the though. You know, yeah, like, like Marshall Park. Park and, <laughs> but you gotta. Re- it is what it is, though. That's the heart of the Grand Theft Auto part of Miami, right there. <laughs> they stop you, there. you ride straight nah, through. Yeah, it do. Like, it do. Me? It like people say, man, what's you know what? They talk about the city that. dangerous. This shit more dangerous. This is more scarier than any part of the city. I say you ride straight through, through because you don't know better. You don't know nobody. If you're not better. from, be- if you're not yeah, from there, you gotta ride straight through. Windows yeah. in the gas station, bro. Open like a maze. They don't even give you street. Remember KFC? You want that shit bulletproof? You can't touch not one thing before you pay for that motherfucker. You know. Well, when's the last I, time you guys been to Opalaka? I, I, I stay in Scott Lake, so I'm 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 over there. I know I'm over there. There's no reason for too, me to be in Opalaka right now. Opalaka in the Grove. Shit, I still got like, family over there. I love it. But once we start like being at Center House all the time, like them years yeah. and going to Burks and like I embraced it. Like I, I I love, you know what I'm saying? And we got family like from the bricks and stuff. So but you know it's what? just still crazy though. You yeah. know what? You know? Just you guys seeing what's in Opalaka. That's why those Hispanic people are coming in there sweeping everybody out the community because people like us don't want to invest back into our own community. That's true. When we get money, we want to move out west instead of moving back into our communities and purchasing the property there. True. And that's you got a point. Is. People it's, say I'll be tripping. I'm going to build a mansion in old block, bro. That'll be like, like, tripping. It's going to be fortified, but I'm going to build it. <laughs> but I'm gonna build. You, you got to fortify it because it's a lot of building. I got to fortify it, but I'm going to build it. You see how you say, all right, your family in the Grove. You see how the Grove yeah, you feel me? You see the level up from back then to now. It's like, bro, you could go vibe. I'm not vibing it. I like, I, I just rolled through the triangle the other day. I'm like, what is you doing? And did you not the see triangle. the new developed homes over there? The fuck you doing over that there? The Hispanic people bought. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. A black man built. He all, built it, but yeah, he they like, paying for it. No bad people it. wanted to yeah. buy it because yeah. they built, don't want to be there. Bro, he built. I'm, I'm gonna see you some pictures. He built some shit, bro. But yeah. you know, straight smart home. A part of that, a oh, part of that shit. is I, how we grew up with it. Like we we joking, but <laughs> in reality, we understand. Like you know, I was one of them people too. As soon as I got money, bomb, I'm in like the West Side of Miramar. Yeah, you I said I want to go leave. I stayed downtown, but once you but, stay in a place, you like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, I do miss staying like, like close to where I'm from. Yeah, I, I miss I, seeing I my people. I miss, energy, I miss getting though. turkey wings out of the grocery store. Yeah. Like it'd be the small things, you feel me? But like somebody gotta take the charge. It just can't be words no more when saying like, I invest back in the hood. It gotta be a game plan. Like, what is this about to be? Like Miami Gardens. I'm I'm back in Miami Gardens because I see exactly what's finna go yeah, on. Miami yeah. Gardens is the private part, the yeah. public part. Miami man, look, our people did a great job 
since Miami Gardens started as a city. Yep. And some open lock is part of Miami Gardens now too. But you got to be in tune and, and we can't just say, all right, let's invest. We got to know invest in what? You know what I'm saying? And I think like the people who still like a part of what's going on need to step up and take the lead. Like, yo, if you see a house, man, look, at this point, if it's five, six of us that got 10,000, we just need to like- That's a crib, though. Whatever. But like, I also think it's more about education. So many people don't understand house buying or money or finances oh yeah, in big, general. The yeah. thing is, how do you make buying, all that shit y'all saying, how do you make that sound cool? Because at the end of the day, nobody's I mean not I ain't gonna say nobody yeah. but the people that we want to get to pay attention to all this mm-hmm. shit cause it's all about culture we don't really we trying to learn that now we trying to start a culture to be yeah. honest which we don't really have culture as a black people Fine. other than hip hop and shit like that freedom so now that we know cool what, what to get. do mm-hmm. we trying to teach like for example I listen to y'all I've been listening to y'all for years mm-hmm. see I done learned a lot of just listening to y'all but a lot of people not gonna listen unless it's sweet to the ear but yeah. look for one it ain't yeah, for one. everybody business owner like she doing great mm-hmm. o- property owner prop you know what i'm saying like it start with those people who've already leveled themselves up to be the group of leaders that, that get it going yeah when you go into these other groups of people and you know how we grow up, we, we love everybody here most people from miami it's not like a racial thing it's it's differences but everybody cool with everybody mm-hmm. when you really know other groups everybody ain't like you can't throw in a group that oh they taking over it's cl- it's classism inside that group too. Mm-hmm. They got they people that they look down to part of their own, you know what I'm saying, their own ethnicity and all that too. It's but the castle. people who got money link up and make sure it start flowing with each other. And I think that's the only part we ain't got. Like, but, but how do we create more leaders? Because it can't be competition. We got too much of like, all right, I need to get the roles first. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, once you get over that, we huh, got to get past that mentality. But how long does that take? And like I said, how do you create more leaders? You got to just be I happy. Said it ain't for everybody. You got to be happy with what you get. I ain't and we link up and you become like the top, top, top dog and you got the wraith and you got the biggest house. But I played my part. People got to be okay with that. All right. What's, people, what's playing your part then? If you, if she, if she making 15 million and I make 2.5 million off of what I contribute to what's going on. I got to be okay with that. So the smaller that, guy, that's, can't, that's, that's the smaller guy can't really control. And it's up that's, to that's, but that's, that's, that's the that's the it's a lot of black people with money. You know, most black people, black people as a whole, we got a lot more money than we think we got because we're not we're gonna put it together. Okay. Yeah. So we just not do. We not in like how we said earlier. It's land, labor, and capital. We are obsessed mm-hmm. with labor. I'm gonna give you hours. You give me money. I'm gonna stack it up. I'm gonna stunt. I'm starting to see. There's other groups they more obsessed with um, land or platforms. Land can be the ground you standing on, Spotify, whatever the platform is, and then capital, who financed the money. Once we get more interested in them two, then it's going to be different. That's it. We're going to go get them. Man, you got bus drivers out here making 100K. You got gar- dudes in a garbage truck making 125. The money here is just what we want to do with it. See, I no, feel like no you got to have either. like homeowner night at Tussies or some shit. Like that's nah, what really you like, can't wear you can't wear your you, crib you in now. You can wear that's your chain in Tussie, but you can't wear you your crib. Like, hold on, boy, I'm finna mingle with a whole bunch. Just like how it was grown folks night, you feel me? At the moon in Tallahassee, like, okay, I'm finna be with people my age. We need a social setting where it's gonna be What's people cool. on the same level with each other, all being together. Then that's when it's like, oh, you on the same kind of vibe? Oh, you on the same? Oh, oh that's where y'all be going. Oh, that's a good question. I got a question for you. So, do you feel like as you got more like? You probably already was like career focused and like motivated, but as you start leveling up, do you do you see like not all of your friends, but like some of your friends and settings changing or like what you like to do? Like you see now, we got people who like to go golfing and doing different things and like going to Arizona just to hike them. Like has that changed for you and uh, introduce would, you to new people and new um, environments? I would say yes. So I started my career path when I was really young, so straight out of college. So. My friends really didn't see me from the end of high school until like I probably opened my store. Like Mm -hmm. I just went ghost from everybody because I was in my grind season. But um, so when I did come back out, I actually wanted to party because I missed out on all of that partying. (laughs) Now I'm more in different settings as I meet different people. Like I do real estate. I do all these different things. Now I'm in different settings. And every now and then I have a night where I want to go to the ghetto club Mm -hmm. and twerk. But for the most part, like I want to be in different settings. I want to be around people that's like minded and we're trying to get to something else. I just don't want to be around people that just want to club. Like I want to grow. I, I'm big on community. So 
Yeah. Chamber of Commerce type vibe. Yeah. But I see, like that's that. what we got to get, in, get into. Like, <clears throat> man, look, I ain't go to fam. But I've been I went there enough to time they should at least give me an honorary degree as I much time I invested. I, I feel like I went. See, people think I went to fam how much I was up there. <laughs> Them boys was at fam. But even when we was up there, how we where we come from, look at the type of stuff we was doing. We used to look at the people who was like, uh, I don't even want to call all these people stomping the yard and doing all this professional. We thought that shit was lame yeah. at yeah. first. Yeah, walk like because you didn't know anything about <laughs> it. Yeah. But then after it was like, hold on, them boys was going to you studying pharmaceutics and engineering, yeah, 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 and fact. then you see them now, yeah. and it's not that and they surpassed us because we went our own way, but yeah. it's like, okay, I see what y'all was doing. I see what kind of professional environment you was and they're getting in relationships. They, they built us like brick yeah. by brick, real brotherhood. But yeah. a lot of them was from up north, and that's a yeah. whole nother, you know, thing too. It's different from like south and north and how they kind of carry themselves. So. Continue yeah. on that, like when I wanted to do, I wasn't completely sure what I wanted to do in real estate. But I couldn't figure it out in Miami. I had to go to Cleveland and get a community in Cleveland. Mm. So I can narrow down what I want for people to help me mm -hmm. and literally hold my hand right. and show me how to do it. And I'm killing the game in Cleveland. I could not do that in Miami. Damn, mm. you, that, I ain't gonna lie. I'll be I could that not was a real. I'll be trying what to I tell a lot of people sometimes. <laughs> Every sometimes you gotta get up and go, bro. Yeah, well, I tell yeah. you bro, about who, Atlanta, bro. I learned so much give us, in Atlanta. But I'm just saying, like, who the fuck go give us advice on podcasting, bro? Down here, yeah. <laughs> like, be for real, bro. Who the fuck go give us advice on podcasting, like, bro? We the most consistent podcast in Miami right now. Like, it ain't, ain't much somebody could really tell us right now. You feel me? Like, they can but, feel they can feel the voice, like little holes, like maybe. So maybe we know more about the camera work, but they might know something about production or having a production. But team, this right? going back to what we was talking about earlier. What you describing right now is the labor part of this business. Yeah. The platform mingling with different people mm -hmm. who can put you in different places. That's exactly what it's the owners. To take out to the next level. Um, that the capital to push it further. You got like you know everybody's story different. Some people tell you I never pay advertisement or whatever, mm -hmm. but you got to do something on this side. They kind of get it, it going because they're not just gonna let every. We all talented. We all being there. It's 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 like gatekeepers. So you got to figure out like what's your angle to get past the gatekeepers. You get what I'm saying? It's who gonna put in the most work for real. We we went through it in music. You go through it in certain little industries where you have to work harder than the other people who are trying to do the same. But even thing. like yeah. music, <laughs> bro, we used to put out songs and you see that YouTube count stop at a thousand every yeah. time. Mm. It's like why I keep doing that, but then you realize. Why would I let everybody who popular run past a thousand when I got people over here paying, paying to, get, to yeah. get past a thousand? Yeah. yeah, that's true too. You know, and, like I, we, and I definitely oh, agree I that. see what you're saying. That, yeah. oh. You yeah. got to do more than Why the next. It, you know what I'm saying? Why keep it's always that? system? It's always a, a a machine behind a glitch in the matrix. Yeah, though. shit don't be as a organic as we think it is. So, what is it looking like in Cleveland? Because I, I definitely go to. Cleveland to see what's up. Like what's what's the, I know it's a lot of stuff with the Chips Act that they doing in that area. The Rust Belt they finna do like oh you say chips. what's going on in the Cleveland area? Yeah, <laughs> like we like we like stock and stuff. So hey. we are looking at the businesses going there, but clearly you know you found a different angle. So like what attract did you? This ain't walk. This ain't uh, Screech is watching my boy. That's the second. Ah. We coming back. <laughs> we do we do got fifteen year olds listening. To us. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> nah, you can answer that. So what attracted me to Cleveland is my mentor. Um, I, like I said, I was trying to figure out what exactly I wanted to do in real estate. So I was just going past every real estate group page and just listening to podcasts. And I came across someone who interviewed um, my mentor and he was saying how he's buying properties for 10, 15, 20 K. So I'm like, how many times I got 10, 15, 20 K? I'm like, okay, I could do that. Um, One, two. So he hosted a class and I flew out there. Um and I was really interested in what he was talking about. He put us all on a bus and he showed us he showed us a property, he showed us the bill of how much he parted for, he showed us everything that he did with it, he showed us how much he sold it for. Then he told us that he's offering a mentorship to teach us everything. And from the mentorship when I saw the community that he built of how many people that were not from Cleveland, everyone for, was from outside of that area and what they were doing and how fast they were flipping the money. Yeah. Real estate is not sweet. So don't ever think that it's sweet coming in, but Cleveland is a sweet market. Like mm. you, Miami, I can't even talk about the price, but properties that I bought, the most expensive property I bought was probably 30K. 
Mm. Then I probably put like 70 in. That's on a high, <laughs> 70 in. Mm-hmm. Um, on a low, I probably put maybe 20 or 40K in. ARV yeah. going for like 185, 200. <laughs> so you do the math. And it's just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Stupid. <laughs> you hiring? So, he no. Keep, keep <laughs> but that hiring. price point is really what... Stupid. That price and point I, is what drove me to Cleveland. Man, to you. Shit. Yeah. I was sitting there preaching to these guys and I am just didn't follow them. I mean, come out there now. It's too sweet. Don't worry. You gotta say, <laughs> yeah, yeah, are you, you, you mentoring? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not hot. You are. In real estate, no. You are. I, I, Clothing. You know I more. You. you know more than us right now. You could mentor us. That's I'm true. still a student, so you can do yeah. both. You're gonna forever be a student. True. 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 You true. can do both. Don't but limit I yourself. But I can. I can teach you guys what I know about the Cleveland market. We'll take that. Thank you, but, yeah. Bet. Y'all every, see that right? Feel but, that. but I feel like yes, you sir. really have to invest into yourself because if I didn't say, "Oh, let me go to this class," I just winged it. The class was a stack. Yeah, and I feel you though. I just but had a baby. You don't. You don't be feel like it's a lot of like. You feel me? I Shit like baby. that I going on? Right, my baby. I flew my mom out there. I'm like, come so I could do the class. You watch the baby. We did that. I said, I'm going to do the mentorship. The mentorship probably at the time was like 4,500. Mm-hmm. And I invested into myself because I knew that's something I wanted to do. And but, I believed in my mentor that much. But it'd be crazy like that, bro. God, because man. like, that's how the, got money, that's bro. how them boys start doing the hot shot trucking. You feel me? <laughs> them boys really pay for a mentor. And yeah. That's how them boy really if got it. If I didn't into have the mentor, I'll still be lost in real estate, yeah, especially here in Miami. Yeah, I ain't yeah. believe in classes. I ain't gonna lie until somebody paid me for my knowledge. Cause I mean, I knew I'm like, man, I feel like it, but I don't want to get finesse. And then when that like when they offer me money for something, I know I'm like, damn, I know what I'm talking about. It is right. It is other people out there, you know, who can speed you up and get you mm-hmm. to where you need to to go faster. So now my like my view of just Classes and mentorships is, is totally different. But I probably mentor, he was so relatable because he a hood nigga. Yeah, so that was one, two, three for me. I've hey. always, I've always liked classes and learning. Like you get the wisdom from the experience, but sometimes I want the fast route. Like if you mm. know more than me, yeah. and I don't have to learn this the hard that way, because all of our businesses we've had, we learned everything the hard way. I get Please old. teach me. Please yeah. teach me. Get get that. Please. I mean, as long as it ain't DJ Envy, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> No, what's his dog name? What's the oh, other Caesar? Caesar. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Man, they get in that smoke, man. Yeah, man. If y'all want to learn how to have the best podcast in the world, you feel me? Come holler at me, man. That's it. Be my Bruh. mentor. Yeah, you yeah, set up man. a classroom in here. You feel me? You know, type of, get your little journal. Print that. Print it out real quick. And if you go to if you go to uh, Shauna and Oprah Locker, just know she ain't hiring and she ain't mentoring. <laughs> that part. I, you know, I did a mentor um, ship for the clothing. Mm-hmm. And this is probably so shitty to say, but when I did that, I realized. <sighs> oh, shit. That shit ain't for you? It's not for me. What, and teaching people? Or mentoring. Mentor. Teaching people. Well, mentoring in regards to boutique, because not that I'm the smartest in the world, but I learned everything on my own. Nobody taught me anything when it came to making a business, doing anything for my business. Retweet. People are really slow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like common sense ain't so common and huh? lazy. Mm-hmm. Dumbest common sense ain't so common. Yeah. Like you think it is. Like some things that I'm like, this is common sense. They it, it ain't common. Yeah. It and ain't I don't common. really have the patience to do that. All right, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. So if you 15 to 21 and you done turn this shit off because you can't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I think about. Yeah, I better like, this shit on. <laughs> but the 30 or 40 year olds that still tuned in, we got you. Don't worry. The invest fast crowd. Niggas can't buy this shit either. <laughs> <laughs> talking about 30 here. 30 there. And it's Nigga, free on YouTube. 30 where? Y'all yeah, went to invest fast but this But nah. Nah, I, I ain't gonna lie, I be so out the loop. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to invest fest. I looked at my phone, the boys is there. I'm like, damn. I, w- I wish I'm going would, next year for sure. I wish we would have went to the Shreveport um, version of it too. Man. Oh, 50? Yeah. Yeah, 50 got some shit going on Man. out there. Me and Jerry went to the um, podcast summit, bro. That was the most common knowledge <laughs> shit that I ever heard. Man, look, they summit. had some fast stuff in there. I wrote, like, I took, I probably took 10%, bro. No, like, they, they gave us certain bots and AIs to use that we can use now and we not using and it will help us. Confer- so I got notes. Conferences be a little tricky, bro. Like, I always <laughs> tell people, like, with that kind of attention, everybody looking for their moment to be a rapper. So you sitting on stage in front of a whole bunch of people, you might be just saying some bullshit. But like you said, like, out of that whole conference, if you got 10%, yeah, 15% 10% sure. game and it was worth it, it's cool. But, you know, like, I think what you saying, like, the 
the route where you get direct mentorship, um, like uh, interest groups, yeah. chamber of commerce. They even say like MBA school. I was looking at that. You go and get your MBA. Everybody in, in that class want to do what you're trying to do. So it's like concentrated. But like how you say you're trying to teach. It's just somebody think they want to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They might yeah. not even have that's the capabilities that, of doing yeah. it. That that be the thing too. That's that's how I was at the podcast. Something I mean, like imagine you paying to go to a summit, right? And they tell you, oh yeah, man, all you gotta do is go to Open Locker, open up a store, go get you some pieces. Oh, that's how they talk. Put it. That's how ninety percent of the <laughs> yeah. information yeah. was. I'm like, it's a duh, check. For, it's a check but, for them, bro. Yeah, but ninety percent of the people oh, didn't people. start a podcast. What's the, yet. What's, what's the one that y'all said before this one? Uh, Invest Fest. 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 You went See, to that. I went to Invest Fest, and I'm gonna tell you, I feel like it's all about the people that you're with. Yeah. Um, I know people that went to Invest Fest so many different times, and they're like, it's just general information. Yeah. So back to my mentor, we pulled up as a community. So everybody in my mentorship, most of us pulled up together. <laughs> And whoever my mentor had access to, we had access to. Yeah, so it was totally right. different from Squale. like general conversation. <laughs> that was Pyru. Yeah. See, we was walking up. Just kidding. Just kidding. Trying to steal access from people. Like <laughs> <laughs> so whoever exactly. my mentor had access to, we had access to. And he made sure we had access to them as well. That boy said. Man, yeah, real one. Moto said, boy, yeah, if I see such and such, I don't finna walk up to them, pay them for that information. <laughs> and so up. many people were excited to see him. So whoever he was with, they wanted to know who he was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. true. And that's why you got to look the part, too. Yeah, that was the networking and the relationship <laughs> behind it. That's that's the only thing I got from him. Like, okay, if you network the right way, then you'll get the most out of this situation. But most of the information out there was like, okay. Was you got to sp- find your space to thrive. Like, you went to fashion school. See, I like hearing that part. Like, I like hearing people become an expert or, like, fall in love with the game they in. Everybody just want to do something because they see a dollar. Man, every industry is a billion dollar industry. This rug, this camera, this light. It's what you good at and what your interest is and then what problem you find to solve. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's probably a hundred people come to you asking you about boutique when they probably supposed to be delivering furniture or something where they done mastered. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, for real. You be delivering furniture for city furniture, you see all the mistakes they make. Yeah, for sure. sure. And you can go make a, a a business out of that that get you four hundred fifty, five hundred thousand with just you and three other people. Yep. But you're trying to open a boutique because you see somebody else open a boutique. Oh, that's that's the move. The that thing last, like, the last that's the do it. Like yeah. the lashes click, the thing. they turned up. It's boy. the quick come up. That I, I think lie. that's what made me so good at what I do now is because I worked for so many other companies and I saw how they ran it or how it could be better. Yeah. And I just implemented it in my business. Not real. Oh, I stay in my as lane. As far as social media marketing, all of that type of stuff. Dog, I D here, we do the same thing. Mm. Electrical construction. When I was doing other shit outside of music, because music is like a talent art thing. But every other thing I thought about, I'm like, why would I do that if I spent 20 years knowing how to do this? Yeah. Start over and over and over again. And when I changed my mind to that, like so many doors open up. Yeah. Like, oh, you're an expert or you're a pro. You're a d- mm-hmm. And you just got to go for what you know. You said you were at Burger King. There's so much shit in there that you, that's $100,000, million. Dollar. But you also do that and you do all type of other shit on the side too. So Oh, yeah, of course. So it's, it's good yeah. to master something. Oh, you're you saying stick master. Yeah, you need yeah. one thing that you can create the most leverage with. Gotcha. Like one day I want to open a restaurant. You feel me? Because you don't want to be. But I can't create the most leverage doing that first. Because if you do too much, you'll never master anything. Facts. Exactly. That part. By the time I open the restaurant, I want to get all the help I need because I got an idea of how I want to do this. But mm-hmm. for me to go learn it over and over again, put like 10 years then, in yeah. it, yeah. That shit yeah. take time and a lot of energy. When you say limit you, but you feel me, you better have a passion. Like anybody who's coming to me, like, I want to start a podcast. Like, bro, it ain't just sitting down and just talking on a microphone. It seemed this simple, but we had to get the chemistry together. You feel me? Like, you know how we started off. We was over talking each other. You feel me? Doing this, doing that. We'll go from one topic to another, not even finishing the topic. This, you, but we passionate about it. Well, we year three now. Yeah, you I need what you're, but you see what y'all know about him. He been dealing with film and art. Yeah, and that music too. I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was YouTube savvy for so long. Like I had to study, 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 study. Then I'm like, okay, now I get the majority part of it. Now I'm ready to attack this. But even before that, you was doing like photography and art and, yeah. and acting and stuff in school. True like, that. You feel me? Like some. So you're you're an act- exceptional kid, my brother. <laughs> man, man, went to <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> <Juilliard. laughs> Exposed. That boy a thespian? He went to Cranbrook. Uh, <laughs> his real name is Clarence. <laughs> 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 
Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Shit crazy, man. What you got for us today, my boy? All right, man. If you still 50 listening to us, <laughs> <laughs> we about to get on the bullshit, man. You feel me? This is day two of me fasting. I haven't ate any food in two days. I went on the juice fast yesterday. So please mind me if I get a little off topic. If he pass stuff. out. Yeah, you man. You feel right me? Now. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm getting a smoothie or something tomorrow. <laughs> He'll be all right. I did a three-day only right water. Now. Huh? You're not chewing nothing right now? And how you? I had some gum, but no. Oh. Uh-huh. He'll be all right. I did three days <laughs> only water. Well, I tried to do that today where I caved at like 11 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all, it's when your you mind. started, yeah, when you started, you think about it too much, bro, because yeah. I'm just thinking about it. Like, I'm drinking water. I'm like, I'm not really hungry. It's just nothing else to do. And it's yeah. just comfort and just eating some food. Oh, so you're saying it's a mind thing? Yeah, it's for really sure. Mind thing. Cucumber okay. water clear the mind part out too. Mm-hmm. But right. I, I, the most I did, I probably did like five days. But like after day three, that's when it's like, okay, I'm good. Like you don't really need any food anymore. So you feel me? I'm trying to get over that hump, but that hump hard. Though, yeah, this boy. hump, this hump oh. hard. This time around, it's like, boy, I just keep thinking about this shit too much. <laughs> mind but, over matter. Yeah, pretty much. But. Starting this topic off, man, I really want to ask y'all boys, do y'all fuck with me for real? <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, that boy's serious. I, yeah, no, nah, G shit, right? I was sitting there thinking about this earlier today, oh, right? Shit. Nobody invite me anywhere, bro. Oh. Nigga, that because we fuck with you. We know you're not going. No, bro. Duh. Invite me somewhere, bro. Oh my God. I ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Bro, nobody invite me nowhere, bro. I be seeing people hanging out. I be seeing people partying. I just called Gerald, right? Gerald's supposed to be on the podcast tonight. Where that nigga? I said, I said, yeah, hey, boy, you coming to the podcast tonight? He said, oh, nah, we going to the bowling alley at 7. I'm like, why y'all ain't right here? Like, damn, bro. Oh, you got to do the podcast. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me, do I want to go bowling, boy, bro? So you, you're responsible, bro. You got shit to do. You got to. I, I want to add to that. How many times do you ask a nigga to go somewhere and they tell you no before you stop asking? All right, hold on. I think, I no, think no, no, that's no. what happened to me, bro. They telling you no or you <laughs> just be not home, showing I be up. like, damn, them boys ain't hit me up. Right, right, then, no I th- then I think about it. I they went, know. Yeah, I probably would have said, go. "I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get ready." I, like I left Tony the other day. They said, "Bro, <laughs> we in the office." I was like, "I'm coming." Two hours never later, come. Yeah. I never, I oh, never I'm went. Mi- hey, I'm missing. I might pull up. Bro, I'd have been yeah, in the parking lot. I, I think I blew it. So I'm niggas just be like, 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 we ain't asking yeah, that boy yeah. to go nowhere. <laughs> when I think about it, I wouldn't hit me up either. <laughs> <laughs> so do we Shit. fuck with you? Yes, because we know not to call your green. Man, <laughs> invite me out somewhere. Actually, just come pick me up and get me out the house. That's the only way I'm going to really get out the house. If, if y'all, you leave it up to me, be like, hey, boy, you getting ready? Mm, yeah. man. I ain't gonna lie I'm y'all, with you on that Cause I don't do shit either And I ain't gonna lie It's bad Y'all I love pull home. up the, it's Y'all bad. pull up people, get, Niggas don't even ask me To get on no more But when you see people like Hanging on. out When you see your homeboy yeah, you out, feel some type of way like, But it's like nigga damn. You don't be trying to do too much yeah. But you probably, I don't know, you probably trying to be outside. I be sleep. I don't know. Man, man, he want to show up late. Man, and I get on that couch and ISIS them go to run around. <laughs> perfect. <Hey>. Oh, <laughs> boy, it's 9, 10 oh. o'clock, I'd be like, mm, yeah, yeah, man, I'm going to say, once I, I done smoked, then it's 10 o'clock. Mm. Nah, if I smoke, I don't want to go outside no more. It's if over. It's late. Nah. nah, I got a big plate and some weird shit on YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to find something on YouTube. It's over. Yeah, it's aliens and Jesus at the same time. Oh, it's over. You got to get me out early. Like Early. Tony got me out like seven o'clock one Ooh, Monday. That's a good time. We went to like five different spots. Yeah. I was like, this is the only way hey. you're gonna get me. That's a good <laughs> get me early. Get and me be like, house, bro, bro, we hanging tonight. Yeah. yeah. Don't let me and get don't let you go home. Ooh, right, don't let me get sleepy. I'm tired just hearing that. I wake up five. I leave my car, I Uber home. I wake up five, <laughs> five thirty. If you calling me at eleven to go out and I know I gotta wake up again. That's impossible. Oh no, nah, yeah. it's over. Shit. You better get me. I had to agree to your shit two months before. Then I was like, okay, I'm obligated to go. Yeah, why don't you why don't when niggas just Set up some shit and what? do it. What do you mean? Together. What? You saying why niggas don't ask you out? Want? What's good, bro? No, you trying to get a cut. Uh, why? Why? You, why niggas just don't set some shit up? What do you mean? Throw our own events? Yeah, well, not events, but just like, do some shit. We can do that. That's what we used to do. We don't want to hang with nobody else. We throw our own parties. I'm about to say y'all. Y'all down for game night? Y'all the kings, isn't Game night, yeah, some shit like that. But what's y'all age range that everybody's sleepy before 10 o'clock? Yeah, what you mean? Uh, <laughs> no no way. Way. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not talking, me. miss. I got to set an appointment to twerk. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is. I, I work at 5 in the morning, so that's my excuse. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll like, be up at five. I'll be up at five too. Like, but it's like I love that shit. I'm me too. Five, man. No I love getting up no at five. Too. I'm I like five, that. No five, alarm five. clock. Let me hit the gym early. Get it out the way. Now fantasy football starts. It's I'm my up pleasure. At three. Oh no, nah, fantasy had you up at I three. three. To be honest though, as long as I'm already out at nine o'clock, I'm ten good. o'clock, I'm, I'm good. good. Yeah. It's just, if we I ain't rocking. doing shit by ten, I'm gonna probably go to sleep. Also, it ain't nothing. I feel like I done did everything. Yeah, too. So when it's time to hang, if it ain't like all us just hanging, hanging, yeah, yeah, yeah. What it we ain't doing really. that for? Like, spending money. We done did it. Mm. I gotta be out of town. I ain't gonna lie. After the pandemic, yo, I went to G five for the first time. I think when the Heat was in the playoffs, that shit broke me because I'm like. <laughs> This shit same. stupid. Yeah. 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 I paid forty dollars to stand next to niggas smoking and drinking. Nigga, I remember you took me to G five. I'm like, to, this shit crazy. We used to just have meetings in G five. Used to be cool. But you know, I was the one in there. So what you I'm saying? I'm on there on Thursday every you week. You got the bartender vibe, man. Yeah. You in the bag. We like I own the place. table, nigga. That shit me business done. proposals and shit. Like the shit was crazy. And just when it get fun, all right. We got such a set of toss out. Y'all niggas get your money out. Ball alert. Ball alert. Like, damn. But I heard you use like so much other stuff to do. Nah, so, niggas get what, What's the suggestion? Give us two. Give us your top two. I don't know what y'all are doing. Nah, nah. What's your top I'm trying to go Just golf. give me something. Yeah, give me something. Like, what's something you want to get out that house? We do like 24 bro. hours, 48 hours in another city. Ooh. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what we We can't do that. No matter what. Yeah, we can't keep Every weekend. Yeah, we can't do that every weekend. Can we? All you got to do is just fly wherever the shit cheap. Um, what was that? I think JetBlue had a flash sale. You got to be on your email. Like, be, hey. yeah, no, bro. We got kids. Yeah, bro. Hey, we just yeah. kids, bro. <laughs> you can't just leave Say the kids. Like, come on, I bro. Like she said that. She said y'all ain't taking guys trip in a minute. I said, yeah, you right. We yeah. Yeah. It's about right. time for Vegas. Y'all ain't been in New York in years. <laughs> Suggesting <laughs> New York super cheap right now. Vegas too. Vegas trips was elite. I gotta go back to the A too. I, I think I probably a. just go there no, the most. I love the A. The a I'm feel like down the street. I don't be. I ain't like, tired of that. I ain't gonna lie. I yeah. can't get tired of. It, bro. Like I gotta go there at least once a year. Mm. Yeah, that's what I feel like. That's the place you gotta be. Just to, that's the New York down. Hey, here. we need to go to the A. I want to. I want us to interview Momo too, bro. Family, you already know we talked about. She gonna be done. I, yeah, I want to do here, but it'd be cool doing it in the A. Okay, I got a whole bunch of shit I need to do up there. So whenever we need to go, we just need to go. What's your next question? Um. Ah, yeah. Since we got an entrepreneur in the building, you feel me? And you do say you do spend a lot of money on uh not a lot of money, but you do spend money on advertisement and stuff like that. I got a number one question I hate being asked, right? When you about to pay for a service or you about to pay for an advertisement, uh, anything, you know where I'm coming. You, you know where <laughs> I'm going. Sure going. This shit really grinds my gears. And I want everybody out there to fucking know. How do y'all feel when somebody asks you when you about to pay for a service? What's your budget? Oh, I hate uh, that question. They trying to Jakey promote us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They trying to, they trying to see how much to charge you. Tell, tell me your price. Yeah. Like, tell, like, tell me your. But what price. you gonna do different? Like, yeah, like what's you the gonna pack? give me a C grade effort? <laughs> if I got five hundred, because yeah. like, if I lowball you too much, you don't want to work. That's with why me. I like five it because it's like nah, this is what you get for hundred. If I say above your budget, then what I get? You accept that's it. That's just straight surplus. Yeah, like finesse. Nigga, nigga ain't give you the your um. Remaining balance back, no. But if see, you say, if he worth five hundred, you say a thousand. Bet, appreciate. You. Pocket in the whole thousand. It's certain situations where you can ask, so "What's your budget?" And that's like, for example, we audio engineers. So if a if a nigga with a label come, yeah, you gonna okay, say, yeah, 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 "What's your fair. budget, nigga?" That's fair. You got a budget for real. Yeah, we but see, that's regular people. I will give you some gain. I I read a book where it say you set up three tiers of yeses. Your A. Which is like, this is all the bells and whistles. Uh-huh. And then one that's a little bit less. Uh-huh. And then one that's a little bit less. And then anything that you feel like it'll be a hassle for you to do, you just don't, don't accept. Do yeah. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. let's say if that's a 2000 1500 and a 1000 You don't want nothing less than a 1000 Yeah, you know what to accept already, basically. And then if it's like, oh, it's, I got 900 you You're like, all right, I might take that and give you the... But like a lot of people lose business because for me, even if I had a pocket full of money, I'm like, what does that mean? Like that What's shit sound budget? like a finesse. That's you feel me? the person asking What's or the person budget? that's been. Yeah, because you're not offering a service. You're just saying, what's your budget? What does that mean? Like I don't think people know they worth like that though. I don't think people know they, they, be, know, they be knowing what they not we going were, for. We you feel me? That's why I said they just be trying to get over on you, bro. They just want to see. I don't if think you so. I just think they don't know how to really like Gage make an offer to somebody. A lot of people learning business. Man, they price to come back so fast. If I say if I say two hundred dollars, they're like, nah, bro, I don't do anything under twelve hundred. Well, say that. Hey, what the fuck? I'm gonna say a hundred. 
Do you feel me? I'm going to lowball you. Like, but like, sometimes when you lowball them, that kind of scare away the business. And then, don't, then, then they don't write you back. They're like, like, oh, this nigga trying me, man. Yeah. Come imagine, $200. imagine pulling up to a club or something and, hey, what's the entry fee? What's your budget? Fuck out my face. <laughs> 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 Anytime I needed to right. advertise and someone asked me what's my budget, I'm done because I don't got time to play with you. Bro, well, it kind of is. Try. I feel it kind of when you ask well, me that. Look, you rolling your eyes off. Give me the price because I'm a price type of person. If your price is your price, I'm going to pay it. I'm exactly. not really a negotiating type of person. Bad. If you tell me, oh, it costs this much, if I want you, I'm going to pay it. If I'm like, no, I'm not going to pay it. All right, well, so, so, what would you say in that situation when somebody asks you, what's your budget? She just said it. She oh, done. She cutting the deal. Oh, she said, it's over. She goes over. Okay. I don't even want your service. That's a red flag. Yeah. No, I just don't have the time. Oh, you ain't, you ain't you you the know, If you're, if whatever you do, if that's your business or if that's a you mind provide that thing, yeah. you should already have a price list. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're not that serious. Exactly. with me trying, trying to figure out how much I'm willing to give. But exactly. I, I yeah. ask that. I'm like, I'm like, give me some examples of your last services and how much you charge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, gonna be that's gonna fuck you up. Oh, hey, shit. I ain't new to this. That sound crazy. You in Vegas. <laughs> Bet. Why you better give me that reply? What the fuck? <laughs> this is what you said. Yeah, yeah, for them too. <laughs> what's the last thing you paid? What's, what's the last service you did? Service? Yeah. Yeah. How well? Oh, they gonna shit. fuck them up. Yeah, no, no. But see, that's, a, that's the part about being in this shit forever. Man. It's like, nah. I'm about to ask somebody right. I got defense. <laughs> I got defense now. Nah, nah, all right. You did a video for, for what you currency. Did yeah. How much you charged? What was that like? Oh, okay. that was love? Oh, that was love? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My budget is definitely low. Yeah, yeah, so my budget gonna be that easy. was ten thousand. Okay, I got five thousand. What I got? Okay, well, I got ten. What, now we own something. Not even. I got two and blah 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 blah. Cause you don't get nah. Two but the then time. you say two, then they can't get the five camera. But you are well. Shit, you should already have the camera. But you don't nah, get that ten all the nah, time. niggas gonna rent it. See, that's the thing. When you get to that part, niggas is rent. You can't hold five fifty thousand dollars cameras. Yeah, bring it. To so. You can leave I mean, yeah, you, gotta, you, you got a point, but it's like, uh, tell me what I get. Nigga, I got 10 bands. I get the red camera? Or do I, I get a DSLR? Bands, yeah. I feel like just because of the <laughs> yeah. 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 Tell me the budget. I feel like just because oh, a, a nigga yeah. gave currency 10. See, I ain't gonna lie to you. That's because I done heard offers from these rappers that come down here, and you would think they charging 20. They'll take the two. Yeah, for sure. Take, oh, take who, the three. You might not get it clear, but for sure. Oh, shit. That that part too. That but is. I might not come do your video, but for nah, that sure. Is, I would say the video not gonna get done. But listen, for a, a tape for a promo. Think about that. Somebody asking what's your budget. That's what. That's the point. Yeah, though. yeah. yeah charge a thousand with a budget. That's what I'm trying to say. You pay me two hundred, bro. This shit it ain't costing me nothing to do this. Yeah. To post this post, you feel me? So it's like, yeah, I will take the two hundred, but I charge a thousand. So it's like. That's that in between, but if that's your price, bro, go for Man, what's your price. The first person I ever tried to negotiate with was, was like didn't budge was Lucci. Ten thousand, no more, no less. Yo, we, ain't we ain't doing nothing. I negotiated motherfuckers down like you'll never believe. That team, when he first took off, ten thousand. And it's crazy. 10,000. You, you connected to the people that helped him take off. So you want to talk to them. Bro, Lucci was following me. We had 100 followers. I always would just be on like oh, knowing you. whoever next. Bro, it waited just too long. <laughs> right before the pool party. I'm like, let's see if we can get him. 10 bands. That was before we was even trying to put that type of numbers together. <laughs> he was the first person I felt like charged 10 bands. And everybody after that started like, nah. They get a hit, ten, 10, 10 bands. 10, Man, 10. you have a hit. We'll be hitting you for 1500 3000 That's what <clears throat> Never paid more than 5000 until I heard that. You After that, everybody was, bro, I got, I get, what I got Big Sean for? Signed to Kanye, bro, I got Big Sean for like seventy five. The feature? No, like to come do a show. To come before. do a show. Oh, shit. That's good. But this after like Def Jam That's when Kanye. That's type shit. Man, Lucci was like 10. I ain't signing nobody. You got, I got you a handful of songs. Or some, or some, no, we ain't get him. Oh, you ain't get and him. he oh. took the fuck off after. Thank, thank God this ain't the janky podcast. <laughs> but if you got something you want to promote, just let us know what's your budget. Hit the <laughs> <deal>. <laughs> We done solved the answer. So if you say ransom answers, that shit go fuck me up. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Also, shout out to all the female hair brothers. Damn, that was a million dollars worth of game for tell, that answer. That was, your, man. Tell me what your budget is. I just is. fucked the streets up. <laughs> hey, editor, you know what to do. <laughs> So I gotta go on Patreon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> type shit. Y'all gotta pay for this clip. But nah, man. I do have another question. It's a quick. I know y'all probably gonna give me a quick answer for this one. But I was thinking about this shit uh, the other day. 
So how long do it take y'all to get in the shower? You feel me? Hey, <laughs> y'all cut the water off. Water hey. running, right? Water yeah, running. Hey. Y'all cut the water off. I did something new the other day. I ain't gonna lie, it took about thirty minutes, but <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I was at a, I was at, I was at an apartment where the, the hot water don't run out. That what niggas now, need. Stay with me. <laughs> Left that shit out. on for about ten minutes. Steam, rolled the joint. Took the shit all that. Still ain't just sit there vibe. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Just sitting in the steam for a minute was kind of cool. Then I got in the shower for probably like twenty minutes. Like I say, twenty minutes. That's a long ass time. To I ain't gonna lie. Ten running. minute wait is slight. Nah, for me. At, nah. <laughs> when growing up, your ass getting that shower about fifteen minutes. That water start getting cold. Yeah, right? yeah. you got yeah. a point. You got to hop did, up. Where did you grow up? I ain't gonna lie. We ain't <laughs> got no water. Oh, we ain't got no water. <laughs> <laughs> And let's be clear, I feel hey, like I was close. in the suburbs <laughs> I'm not from the Black Bulls, I'm not from the bottom. I was in the suburban part of Oblaka. I'm a suburban hey, I ain't gonna lie. That's, that's the biggest thing. Hey, I started getting that bitch and just, I just put it on cold just in case. Whoa. Why I had a shower running on cold? What's your answer though? Like Me? Why? why yeah. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, it be taking me like 20, 30 minutes right, to get in the shower, right, bro. Right, like, I be doing everything I need to do. Like, I'll. Because that's like quiet time. That's like, yeah, bro. Peace. I'll post a clip or I'm getting a clip ready or I'm you post responding it? back to me. Yeah. What? That's his quiet time. <laughs> bro, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I've been doing all kind of executive business, all kind of shit, replying to them. Bro, I, I do everything I before I, I get in the like, shower. That's my only time I really think about it. Like, okay, I forgot to reply to this person. Tranquil in the bathroom. I forgot yeah, to respond like, to yeah, this. Nobody ain't going into the bar. Yeah, yo, nobody for to come fuck with you, hopefully. We got kids that bathroom is sanctuary. Yeah. What? I be locked in. nobody bro. coming to fuck with you in there. I be locked in. That's why I had to really ask somebody like, damn, do I be tripping? Because I just be having that beer. And then I got exposed, right? Like <laughs> <laughs> you, you be in that shit, right? You doing everything, boom, boom, boom. It be like 15, 20 minutes. You look up, like, damn, it ain't no rag in this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 I ain't got no towel. I ain't got no towel. Nigga, walk out like, boy, what you doing in there? Hey, hey, somebody. But I don't agree what you said. That's the only place kids don't come. My kids will come and sit in the bathroom yeah. on the floor while uh, I'm in the, in the shower. shower. Damn. Yes. You don't lock the door? No. That's why you're taking the 48 hour trips. You need it. <laughs> you can't even. Too. Oh, you got to your. Uh, I ain't going to lie. They ass at the door. But it's not even my child. It's, it's your seven, seven year old. old. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> Man, listen. Yeah. Oh, he in the bathroom with Jason? <laughs> Bro, that's how my little sisters is with my mama like yeah. that. She can't take a shit without them in the bathroom. I'm letting like, the ass shadow. The shadow. Like, I'm like, what? I'm coming. Man, so hold on. Go how, your iPad. How long did it take y'all? Man, I was step Oh, you said yeah, you. What, your what's your answer? It was about 10, 15. 10, 15. 10, 15. So we all, the, we kind of be vibing in the bathroom though. Not a bathroom. Wasting all that damn water. Yeah, that's a lot of water. <laughs> Let my electricity run sky Let high. gallons yeah. go. It is what it is. What's your, what's your answer? Your answer? I'm in there immediately. Immediately? Yeah. See, that's why she owns some shit. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't <wasting> no time. <laughs> she don't play no game. Like, right. why did you turn on a shower? That's why she got a hundred doors in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, but coming soon. The door's mm. always open. Bro, I, I said, I cut that shower on, and I think about everything I need to do. And then I'm just going to handle all that before I get in the shower. Because when I'm in the shower, I be thinking about that shit too. Like, damn, I have got to. See, I ain't doing that no more. Because she just said she get yeah, right in the shower. She made me feel like a hooligan. It's just I have so many things to do. I don't have time to turn on the shower. If it's just chill. chill. Yeah. No, that's why. Like, I'm getting in. Hey. Yeah, I'm, I'm not being watching TikTok. <laughs> no, I stay in there for quite a while. But Hold I'm on, no. Um, but look, I, I, just, that's a, so, so that going to lead me to a good question. Or not a question, but like something I've been thinking about. Like now we getting over that hump. We still young though. You got a long way to go. Now, if you see it in perspective, you might live 80, 90 years, but you ain't a kid no more. Mm -hmm. And this shit moving fast. Every second count. I see why you say like you get right in the shower, you got so much to do. So like now I be feeling guilty about wasting time. Hmm. Like, do y'all see yourself like oh, that nigga? At... Definitely Julius when it come to time. I don't play. Yeah, that boy be sitting there, be like, man, what the fuck? We gonna be in that line for ten minutes? We might as well go over here. I'm yeah. like, damn, bro, it's not that serious. You can't bro. get that shit back, bro. Is that a patience I... thing or? Yeah, nah, man, that boy I think so. We at Disney World. He said, bro, y'all gonna be in that line for a whole seventeen I'm minutes. I'm like that too, but it's patience. <laughs> it's patience with me. It's like, yeah, nah, it's, bro. It's, it's not... something I read that helped me with that. Like, if I'm finna be somewhere waiting and I don't want to, find something else to fill that time with. So I, I learned. Or I listen to YouTube, or I read something. Yeah, I do a lot of that. Like, why? why you in the line or waiting? Or something? Well, if I have to wait and yeah. I hate waiting, I'd rather pay the extra oh. to get past it. But if I gotta wait, I'm, I'm gonna sit. But I'm, I'm talking more something. about just bullshit. <clears throat> like you just ain't I doing get, shit. Like, you just time, time, like, my game, yeah. I might spend two, three hours, but I do that at the end of the night. Like that the, is the reason why I wake up early. The other day, I almost went to a whole nother Publix 
I don't know if y'all heard any Terra chips and um, the sweet potato chips. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's only one store with the salt and vinegar ones. <laughs> I almost went all the way over there. I'm like, bro, you in Publix? You just walked out and you finna go to another Publix? Man, get your ass back in there. Get, get the, the original other flavor. Eight items and go home. <laughs> I'm like, damn, yeah, that shit was gonna add about a good 23 minutes on to this shit. Damn, I gotta start thinking like so that. So like now, I be like really saying, dog, I can, I could have. Knock something out in them some twenty minutes. Yeah. Like we trying to get somewhere. You feel me? So now I be feeling guilty about wasting time. Like that's crazy how perspective works. Cause yeah. like, like I look at life different now. Sometimes I be feeling like something was meant for me to go that way, or mm-hmm. true that. Like this slowing me down. I'm in a rush to get back. Cause when it comes to business, mm-hmm. I be in a rush to get back to it. I be sometimes. But I, I feel you. But I know when it's me, and I know when it's like life say make a left. Got you. When it's me, like, just, no, I want them chips so bad, and I'm forcing it. Anything you force in life, a business decision, anything, forcing. that be the shit where you go wrong. But when you just, Green, huh, I'm riding a bike, I'm going to make a left instead of a right, just because something happened, like, outside of you, then you see the person who you finna meet that's finna put you on to yeah. some new shit. Mm-hmm. But when it's you, like, kind of like, no, nah, I'm going to make sure I go right. Nah, bro, you ain't letting life unfold how it's supposed to, you feel me? So you right in a way, but when it's me, like, forcing it, I'm you like, saying nah. you know you you I can feel yeah. when it's life, bro. That's like I ain't got that discernment, boy. I'd be like, damn, is this an obstacle or is this everything I ever did great <laughs> in life, bro? Was kind of like I could tell life gave it to me. Everything I tried to force, it was like okay. Yeah, I don't like forcing. Like see, I don't like forcing. I don't like being greedy, and I don't like um rushing. Them three things I always look up. So I I feel you. It's like, but you gotta learn to know yourself to know is it forcing or. Are you pushing through? Uh, uncomfortable. Hey, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I ask them boys that a lot. Yeah. I'd be like, damn, what's the difference? What's the fine line between the universe telling you to chill or the universe <laughs> asking, do you want it that bad? Because it's going to give you another it, sign. I'm about to say, it's a couple, it, it take a yeah. couple times yeah. for it to be like, all right, it's the universe yeah. pushing back on this. Let me, it ain't going to be the first time because anything can happen the first time, but it's a couple little signs be like, all right, hold on. That happened, that happened. All right, maybe this is a. All right, let me. Admit. Man, I, I had a, a business I came up with. I'd be competing in all these competitions. A nigga doing that shit. I'm like, all right, man, you need a lot more capital than I'm thinking to get into this. I'm, I'm going to put it off to the side. Let me start forcing it. After that, everything that was reassuring that that was the right thing started popping up. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, don't forget it. Yeah, yeah, okay. But, you know, understand you do need more capital and a yeah. little bit more like knowledge in this area. But all the proofs that it's a good business. Just kept randomly popping up in front of me, like boom, 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 boom. I'm like, all right, don't forget this. But if it's some, sh- I could just tell when I'm just like. So did the universe say you wanted them chips that bad, or did you just give up? This shit's good. <laughs> <laughs> they just really, really good, but that, that's they different. This bitch is five dollars a bag. I don't lie, that, that that's a good question. But like I said, reassurance. Like there's some I committed. I wasn't working that day, kind of public school. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I was committed. Like I'm done, but. I, I'm in the grocery store. I see Dr. Pace. Mm-hmm. I go on Lawrence. I see Gallon. Mm-hmm. And they all saying like, hey, you ready? You ready? Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah. Hey, I don't know if I'm going to be there mm-hmm. next year. But it was just, it wasn't me. It was the universe. Like, it made it like, I didn't know my 10th year was going to be that year. But yeah. it's also magic and letting go of expectations. Because you yeah. wanted it. So Sometimes when you want some shit so bad, it just keeps staying outside of your grip. Yeah. And when you find it, you're like, man, fuck it. Like, I have a, I'll call a client and be like, Damn, I want it so bad. Now I'll be like, yo, they answer the phone. Fuck that. That push. And then they'll call me back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that right, pushes bro. your frequency higher. If people who answer that, yeah. accepting whatever come with it, pushes your frequency higher. It's right under gratitude. Yeah. It's like you, you, you can't you can't force it. Like it's it's not about you. This shit is like, it's free will in this, but I also feel like it's like how you playing a game. It's like you know you're supposed to go in this direction. You get a little sign or something like that. So mm-hmm. is it a feeling or is it science? You gotta know, bro. That's the <laughs> we know. always yeah. tell people about the alchemist. That's the book you read where it let you know, like, nah, bro. Life be giving yeah. you the right direction. It's like that boy you're just supposed to be ready. Salmon or salmon? <laughs> 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 like shit, it's, it's basically the same thing. Mm-hmm. But all right, I got a, I got a, I got a question for y'all, right? Because it's a funny question. Y'all don't have a right answer for me. I, I hope not. But I want y'all opinion on this, right? If you was a crackhead, right, where would you get high at? Open locker. 
That's a great answer. Yeah. Where would you get high at? Would you get high at a house? Would you like you feel me? Would You're you crack be high? though. You're not a sane like you nah, sane. Don't get so, you so crack some crackheads, bro. Crack yeah, you feel That's me? What, some what kind of yeah. Right. yeah. It's some highly fuck. So where would you get high? Strung out shit a myth. It's only a few people who are all the way strung out. Yeah. If it's so people who up I would say Opalaka just because I grew up there. I knew Comfort that zone. all of the. <laughs> 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 I knew the area where all the crackheads go. So of course I would go to be in that community of crackheads. Okay, okay. Really? I'm going over See? there. The people that know how to well, get why high. Why though? What's so good over there? It's a they vibe. They doing over there. So I'm obviously like, you gonna smoke with smokers, right? That's where I'm going. You gonna drink with drinkers, right? You go party with uh, parties. Y'all remember that? Man, what's that? It was a hospital right there by where Top Golf at. I know what you're talking about. Handy one. Yeah. Right. We was in high school. That was that the place to go. I was a crackhead. I was going there. I ain't going there. No. You Y'all got scared me. of that shit? That's the scary <laughs> shit. Y'all scared of that shit? I've been in that shit before. I've been in there once. Y'all ever been in a real crack With Norlin niggas? Yeah. That's crazy. A real true crack out. It feel crazy. A real true crack out? Yeah. You don't see the bathroom in a real true crack out? Remember the hotel on 79th? Bruh. Yeah, like, <laughs> I don't want to be with other bases. That shit was crazy back in the day. If you, I, you if I'm that, a right? crackhead, I want to be a solo crackhead. Okay, what? Yeah. That's fair. I don't want to be with other crackheads. Yeah. That's fair. Have oh, you ever bo- been in a crack house? Oh, you're a bougie crackhead. Bro, <laughs> you ever been in a crack house? There's no way I'm hanging with y'all and y'all living like this. But think about it. You, you don't treat the crack no like people. mushrooms. Let's say you're the crackhead that don't have the money for it, and the only way you're going to get your hit is if you go be around motherfuckers who already yeah, got Yeah, smoking the car. No. That's if also a place a too, you feel me? Or somebody car. <laughs> if he got a car, hey, he knows something. You can check a car. couple of dollars. The beach might be a vibe. A nigga that's break a crack your car. Head, hey, a nigga break your but car, smoke crack, and then it's crazy. The beach, the the beach, the beach the might beach be a vibe. vibe. Nah. It's free. It's Drown. free. The police going to be Drown. on your Take ass. Take a bath. That what shit probably scary as hell being on crack at the beach at night. Might hit that water real quick. That shit That shit scary sober. High time. That four moon. fuck you up. That shit scary at night. You going to be out there on crack. Nah. Bro, I was in LA. Hey, it's bro, y'all crazy. Bro, I was at LA, LA at the park. I see, bro, vibing. That boy went across the street, went back across. That boy it went in the shade. It's hot as hell. That boy having a time of his <laughs> life. When I tell you, that boy got so high, that what made me think about it. Like, damn, where would I sit there and get high? Like, would I go to the park? You feel me? Would I go to a hotel, cheap hotel, $35 hotel, $50 hotel, be in comfort, have that TV plan? I mean, you gotta think about I'm it like this. <laughs> when you smoking weed in a place you ain't supposed to smoke, that's kind of like crackhead activities. Kinda, you feel yeah. like one? Yeah, kind of. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, like them to... boys just smoke on campus at FAMU. Go oh, yeah. in the class in the gazebo. No, like, stop. the biggest class <laughs> at Bruh, FAM. Open like this shit. Open. Everybody could come from everywhere. We just sitting there smoking two joints. That's when you need your drugs bad. <laughs> Bro, it's the same shit. We're just kids. <laughs> like we wasn't even thinking about it. We're like, hey man, we just smoking weed. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing to us. Shit, not happening. I think really. about a time when I took an edible. This no. is why I would go with crackheads. I was in LA one time. <laughs> I took an edible. I'm just eating because I'm like, I can't feel it. I can't feel it. Just eating, eating. So the person that I was with, they didn't take an edible. And I thought I was tripping. Like I couldn't, I'm trying to reach for stuff. I can't find it. Like <laughs> I'm trying to touch my skin. I can't feel it. But the other person wasn't tripping. If he was tripping too, I would have been like, this shit normal. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. I would want to be around crackheads. Okay, yeah. that's fair. If he was tripping, I'd be like, okay. But I caught a complete panic attack because he was normal and I was tripping. We get, we get, we get high together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you the strongest why I used to. I'm sober now, but... I used to just want to be by myself. Fuck that. I don't want to, nobody overstimulating me doing no crazy that's, shit. That's, that's why I said it's different. Mushroom. Different. Wait, that's, Remember that's y'all acid trip? That, 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 but, that but that was a vibe too. LSD is... If <laughs> the police <you're>, almost... <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh yeah, when I was at, when I had the crib up there. Hey, the boys, were, it wasn't me though. Uh, shout out, bro, hey, it was shout me. out to four five. You had no with. shirt on, staring in the sky, bro. A tall black man walking around Listen, the community. I kept my shirt on. It was four five. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was four five. <laughs> ask him, ask him. Every day we was think, outside bro, went to the wrong door and shit. <laughs> that boy with trip. He said, bro, went to the wrong crib. That boy said, bro, I see him, bro. He right there. He in the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> see. All right, man. I got one more question before we go ahead and get up out of here. You feel me? That was supposed to be my last question, but that ain't too good. So I got to get a little bit serious. How many times are you trying to fix a relationship before you just give up? 
she went to roll her eyes. Y'all don't even like I'm a, I'm on the side of her. She went to roll her shit. Everybody like, like, looking around like <laughs> who going first? Uh, <laughs> look, 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 hold on. We got we got a burner account live in effect right now. <laughs> I don't think it's it's a certain amount of times. I think it's when you feel like you have nothing left to give. Mm. That's when you you slowly fade away. Okay, that's real. it's time to go. That's, that's a responsible answer. I, that's a good one. I, I fought with the burner account for the response. I think I'll say taking into account that you know how much you a fuck up, you got to give some grace. Yeah. But it got to be some growth. I always say that you don't got to yeah. be perfect, but <laughs> like if we checked in on some shit four years ago, you should be a little bit better. If you ain't growing in the right direction, then it's like, I think that's when you should, people should move on. Bro, I honestly think everybody in here know deep down when you just fucking with a person. Like yeah. it's dead. Like we all know when the clock is is dope, it's over. Yeah. But so when that clock is over, it's over, bro. But what? So what makes you keep trying when you know it's over? Oh, I ain't trying when I know it's over. Yeah, it's over. See me, yeah. I might double back if it's something I, I, nah. I, I like. <laughs> but bro, deep down, you know when a person ain't. This ain't your for person. Sure, for sure. For sure. We all like. All right, I'm, this gonna be a short thing, or this this ain't this ain't the person I'm supposed to be. I think that's more like date when you date a lot. You have those feelings when you've been locked in for somebody so long. That was you, you can't bro. even say that because we don't. We ain't even been in a whole bunch of relationships. And say you know when it, bro, how many relationships you done been in, bro? Three years. I'm fighting with myself. Last one. That was a wrap. Like, that's a good answer for you. That's a good question for you because I think it's like all right. I'm accept you need growth and I need growth. As long as we growing, that's more of our situations. But like somebody who really been out here dating. And for a long time, I think y'all answer is going to be different because, like you said, three years, shit. I'm trying to fix. I'm trying to see, like, damn, maybe it's something I did. Like, Yeah, that was I said. I'm pretty oblivious. I'm trying, like, a hundred times, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You got to give up on me. The woman ain't answered the question yet, though. Yeah, she no, got to give up on me. I'm still rolling. We trying right, to let her catch funny. up. Like, I'm really on the side of her. Y'all probably can't see it through the shades. All I see is... Like she went to roll in the bitch. Like, you know what? Only because I've been in a situation where, like, I keep giving someone like the benefit of the doubt of yeah. these chances. But also going back to what he said, like I lack discernment, especially when it comes to relationships. Like if it don't smack me dead in my face, right. I'm like, oh, they just kidding. Yeah. Okay. Facts. They just kidding again. Like Facts. it gotta smack me dead in my face. <clears throat> yeah. But I also agree with what he said. Um, like if you're with someone long term, like it gotta be growth. Like, so that's where I'm at now. Like, you got to be constantly growing. If you stand in the same place, it will never work out. So how yeah. many times they got? Like, how many, like, all right, you fucked up this one time. No. Where, right, where, I'm, I'm, at, where I'm at currently in yeah. my life is I don't have the room for nobody to be fucking up. Because I feel like I don't come. I don't come and I don't fuck up. So it's no fuck up for you. So I feel like I come already <laughs> put together. Oh. So it's no reason mean? why you should she, be she slacking. She don't fuck up. I, I, you, you, I'm not mean? perfect. Okay, there we go. I'm not perfect. Okay. perfect. I'm not perfect. But I I'm don't on put her. Together. She fake tough. <laughs> I'm on her. She fake tough. You give it. You give it. You give it some. You give it some opportunity. You good? <laughs> no, 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 no. I see right through this. There you go. I already come together. Okay. You don't gotta tell me to do nothing. Right. So I expect the same thing. What's together? Yeah, I'm, you a business owner? Nah, we here now. You cooking? Yeah, we here now. I'm not cooking because I work too much to cook. Okay, so, but that's so, okay. That's but that's, that's okay. Said. But look, see, that's a what a compromise. <laughs> like, no, that's but, what I all right, you you, you work too much, and you actually don't have to like because that don't make sense. And I think like when you get in a relationship, whatever you is and whatever you is, y'all become a whole new one thing. Mm -hmm. So you do got to give that a, a, a like a shot. You feel me? Like okay. I cook. Because I, but I that's what I'm eat. saying. It, yeah, this <laughs> particular relationship, maybe nobody need to cook. Maybe both of y'all too busy to cook. Y'all get meal we prep. Y'all go out. Yeah. So I you can't gauge it on that. But like, let's say if he be late a lot or he don't remember to get you flowers, that's something you like. He got to learn that. But then year two, three, it's like, bro, you ain't even trying to do none of the mm -hmm. shit I asked you for. Even, that's different. But if, he, if you say, damn, this nigga perfect, he just not romantic. Even but if you're a little bit more romantic as years go by, is that okay or do it got to be what that's you was good, looking that's for? Good, Even that's what he point. said, romantic, <laughs> romantics, bill pens, providing sexual appetite. Like sometimes I be busy. Like, how, what are we doing? You know what? In regards to what you said, everything is perfect, but he's not romantic. I've been in that situation. I could compromise on that mm -hmm. because you doing everything else. I could not cry about some flowers. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. 
But what, all right, so y'all heard that? You 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 a, a top earner? I'm playing. What if he everything <laughs> except he'll never outpace you as far as money? How long would that? Like he he be building the cabinets and shit. He picked the kids up from school. But no. see, she not gonna date him. For me, money isn't everything. Mm. You can't be broke. Mm. Money isn't everything mm. for me, but you can't be broke. But like you said, if he doing everything else, mm. like. I ain't saying that. It's hard. Yeah. 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 Wait, her. Because I'm, I'm gonna say this. It's, because I could take, I could take being a top earner. I'm not saying that. Yeah, but we want to hit it. We want to hit it. Let me, 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 it's 8 billion people, you probably make more than uh, Top dog. Big dog. 98% of them. That's just like unrealistic to kind of see somebody come surpass you. You're not like, oh, I make 90K and somebody can come. You are like an entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? So to have a dude come, he might make 70, 80. That's why money is in. Real good money dude. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, so he make 40. Somebody need that to be pulling that in. Yeah. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't, Damn, I've been waiting to ask this on a podcast. I would, I would say, I would say, he ain't going to get to you. So no, but look, but look, 40, 40 is, is different, 40 is though. 20 out. 40? 24 out. Nah, but 40, 40 might say that you doing something. You ain't, we ain't the same type of people. Yeah. Very, yeah. But I'm just saying, yeah. you might be, let's say you make, we're going to throw a number, 400K. Mm-hmm. And he make one ten. Is it so necessary to see his number higher than yours? No. But that's you, what like I feel like the compromises needed because mm-hmm. I think sometimes we just being like on number. He got to make why he got to make more than you. He just can't be no loser. He got to yeah. be on some yeah. on something. He got to be add value. Oprah and Stebbins, She he's never gonna make more than her. Never. But something about him she like. He might not have to make. Not, but she don't, but she how, like, support him. how is he I'm gonna, gonna say something? <laughs> But the number has <laughs> to be correct. Have... It can't be I make a hundred k. He can't. He make forty k. Yeah. Why not? 40, so you, you can't date just... a bus driver. That's fifty six. <laughs> I told you I was wanted to ask this on the yeah. podcast. Bus driver. Date a bus driver. Though. It depends on how much she makes. Fifty six. No. Why not? Damn. I can't do it. What? Okay. My lifestyle. Why can't you do that though? Why can't you do sixty? Okay. Say push 56. come to shove, and I'm down. I need you to be able to carry me. That part. Okay. What if he's what, what if he's saving the fifty six? Fifty six. <laughs> how, how you saving your fifty six? Because I'm. Uh, but I'm saying, day. like in y'all account, like <laughs> you, like let's say for instance, you came in, you already had the big house, you already had the car, you don't pay for his car, none of that. You was already lit. Y'all come together. You're like, all right, well, this shit ain't nothing but our savings. Let me put all my checks in our accounts. We live together. Yeah. It's the same thing. Oh, what on, if he so, gave you all his check? Hold on, hold on. You said you can't do the sixty k, right? So you said if you fall back, he can't really handle things. So fifty six, he could take care of a family. No, just, it just can't take my you. Family, it just, but it can't keep you at that same like, level. Okay. My I mean, your business, only, your my business. bills don't only consist of my rent. My, like, but that, that's yeah. all. That's your business, is though. You gotta kind of. <laughs> that's, 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 that's your business. <laughs> and, and, and <laughs> your business. I'm, I can take care of you. I just can't give you everything you had. But that's what I'm saying. We trying to understand. We we trying to quantify like. I don't what know, do you what want him saying is business goes a up lot and down. of the successful black women's that's their problem like yeah I, I it's hard that. for them to meet but they don't really understand that when you you are i'm a black woman in tech 160 is not normal it's oh no nah, like, like in 70, the grand scheme that's, that's usually the when you household like, income when you make 80 so, 90 you're in the top 10 percent yeah. of earners in the u.s top yeah. 10 when you make yeah. 160 yeah. for real yes yeah. yeah you like at five percent so like both of y'all together is making more money than 90% of people. Don't matter. So you, when you start you like playing with numbers like that, it's like, yo, you was already straight. My little 60, 70, I still take you out. I still do shot. You really just looking to see if my number bigger than yours? It's not about the number for me. It's about if I go down, what Can you look me up? 45, we... 45 we, is different. I'm saying like, let's say... You want fifty, he's or, eighty. Okay, that's even better. If I want fifty, he's eighty. That's not bad. That's true. Because he's that's still the type bad. of person you is. Like he he's can, ambitious. Yeah. He your job, is, your job, just make more. Yeah, that's not so, somebody who so, probably making thirty ain't probably putting forth the same kind of effort to match your effort. This so I get I, that's too big. But let's just say, all right, you make a million, and he make one ten. She don't care. She got an M. 
Cause now at that point it's just numbers. Like about y'all, if y'all got how 10, much do it take to take care of? Like that's you know what I'm saying. Like that's you don't have to pass. You can go on boats. You can go trips. She's not saying household. She say if she you got to say if she go bad, it's the lifestyle. Like you got to make. If I fall, if you go bad, we on survival mode, motherfucker. Yo, everything. If I could take care of the house so I could feed you, I could keep this house straight. The same house, we could keep the same house with the 80K, right? It should be at least, you said 150 and 80. Okay, but outside of the house, I okay. got to pay rent outside of the house three times. Mm-hmm. I got to pay employees. I got to re up on the that's product. Not just her All right, it's so, my, to that's bounce back. Too. Yeah. Okay, what, 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 so, I'm, 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 so, so we, if I'm we down, both? we just going to stay down. I'm just no, stay no, there. No, 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 no. What if you're your partner in your business, though? Like, you're the face of it. You could do all this shit, and he's like operations for you. Oh, see, that's what so I'm, if you go down. So that's, that's what I'm saying. Like the type of person you get, he don't make as much money as you, but he, but he know holds your business. You the he star. Take that. He know oh, everything. so wait, y'all both? Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. both y'all business. No, it's her. No, it's her business. But he helping. Yeah, yeah. It's the same if she had kids. Oh, see, I ain't know that. I ain't know you saying the money going towards the business too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's different. All right, you just a better business person than me. He could take. But I'm coming in. I'm like, all right. Damn, she need me to go pick up the shipment. I'm gonna go yeah. pick up the shipment. If you're gonna, need, to, if you're gonna yeah. need the 30K, like you said, like to go do whatever the fuck, then yeah, all right, I get it now. Cause I, yeah, I, I like that this type conversation. Of, mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah look, it's important because uh, women are going through what a lot of men have been going through for years now. Mm-hmm. And they're getting the same experience that high earners, male or female, before have getting now. So now they seeing the same things we seeing. That's why you find men that. May not have gotten the woman he wanted when he had, but when he got money, he started having multiple women because nobody was there for him when he didn't have. That ain't like that for women. It's not. Y'all are just say I'm not dealing with nobody. As a man, yeah. you know, I still want something. Way to the end, right? That shit was you were right yeah. in the drive. So, right? so, you were right yeah, past yeah, the yeah, no. <laughs> All right, look. All right, so look. You making a hundred. You, you meet a female you and show she that money. Are you still there? dealing with her? Yeah, yeah, as a man. Do she got but ass? If, but if you fall, if you fall off, <laughs> no, we talk uh, about. If you fall off, are you looking for her to help you? I never looked for, for her to help. Woman, you. No, but as a woman, yes. But yeah. we think that way too. We just know <clears throat> we may not have that, so we accept. <clears throat> and ain't gonna be no help. I and feel like never we gotta stop help. thinking that way. But that's, why but that's what it is. And I stopped thinking that way. Yeah, I ran into one of my uh, coworkers, and he broke it down. He told me he don't mess with broke chicks. Like, what you mean? He's like, all that building the chick up. He's like, I, li- I like nice things, too. Mm-hmm. He's like, I can't have everything solely on me. And he's like, it's okay for a period of time, yeah, or if she's trying to build herself up. But I need her to be at a certain level or trying to get to a certain level Correct. of life. That part. Same as you not taking a dude with 40. Like, yeah. it's levels to it. Yeah. But once you get in a million, that's a different ball game. That's a different range. A <laughs> hundred, again, now this dude, top 5%. You get what I'm saying? He just can't. You got a talent to do what you you want to do. You feel me? You own a hundred doors. He own three, four. He, he may be a simple dude, just a good dude. But if we doing the same thing, and I, it's like I, I take that progress because you're gonna work up until getting a hundred. Right. Like yeah. even if you right. even if you lost the mansion, but you like man, we still gonna live good. We still gonna have a four bedroom house. Things went off rail, but he's still a earner. He's still a provider. Mm-hmm. Do you fall out of love with him because you're not in a mansion no more? No. See, we're we gonna be I'm down bad together. Listen. That's not even down bad. It's so just really life change. No. She like down bad. I mean, I've been down with people. I've been out with people. You know. All right. So I got a quick question. Even though I said that was the last question. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I do want to ask you this. So let's say you done earned about 50 million. Mm-hmm. And stacked up. Yeah. You done stacked up about 50 million. Boom. Oh. Can your significant other just be a stay at home dad? Or he just, he got to be out grinding too. <laughs> that nigga want to be a stay at home dad. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Y'all, no, it give, give her the mic. It yeah, give her the mic. I, I got to hear. I got to hear. Yeah, I need to know. Nah, let me hear what yeah. you got to say. <laughs> 50, <laughs> million, say no. 50 million is a lot. Of, For me, the, I'll take the stay at home dad if that's my kid's father. Someone yeah, yeah. coming in, no. If it's like, no, no. We yeah, already yeah, have yeah. You feel like yeah. Would yeah. you feel like he's taking advantage? No. He was, with I, you, he was with you on the ride up. Yeah. We and have, hold you down like do all the extra. She's still with it. Look, she's still with it. That's family. That's family, that's family for me. Yeah. 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 Talking yeah. to Mike. Talking to Mike. Yeah, talking to Mike. Yeah, yeah. Somebody new. No. Just say it. Yeah. You in the burner seat? They don't know. Yeah, they don't. They don't know. Nah, you said the what fuck. What you say? Oh, I can't say. You said the fuck. We need to know. Fifty million. Okay, that's a lot of money. But it is. Still, I I want a man, a masculine man. I don't, I'm not the type of woman that I'm going to be out. Even if I got that feeling, I'm probably still running the business or working. I'm doing something. 
Man in his role, clean the house. What if he what if he chopping wood and shit? No, and you're like, he doing manly shit around the crib. I'm cleaning the pool. I had to get a frog out the garage today. Oh shit! Yeah, real shit. You know what I'm saying? I got a big ass frog in the garage. That shit ain't no game. <laughs> it's your garage. Hey. It's your garage. My bad. I'm just trying to get something real quick. Man, there was a. Stay at home, dad. No, you gotta be doing something. But a stay at home dad could also still be masculine. Yeah, that's yeah. what. Not if he doing like the dishes. Fifty million of that's fucking not, lot of money. <laughs> Uh, 50 million is a lot of money. What is this a stay at home dad? He out there building houses in the backyard with your son. Running your operation. Yeah. House is an operation too. Like, that's like, that's taking away from stay at home. Stay at home. Why this nigga ain't working? <laughs> but that's only if the number is at 50 million. Yeah. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta be a flag man on the construction site <laughs> and come home to a 10,000 square foot mansion just cause. But that's taken away from women who stay at home. A home is a business too. Yeah, yeah. facts. That it's shit a, is not it's a, a game. lot to keep up with. It's a lot to keep You're up right, with. You're right, Auntie. Because 20 million, that's my Picking number. Picking the kids be like, up on time, making sure they know how to read. You ain't never got to work again. Fucking cooking. Like, I, we though. respect women for that. So if you make 50 million, you got to go to Tokyo and this. Somebody, your yeah, y'all kids going to be taking care of themselves? Mm-hmm. She said, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I would. 20 million is a lot. So you got 50 million? I'm not working no more. But realistically, yeah, up, exactly. <laughs> I'm not working no more. So a hundred boy, y'all rich as hell, kids crazy as hell. Damn so hold on, all right. So you got fifty million, and you a woman, and you don't want no man like that. So what do you do? You can only find this somebody that's. That's what I'm saying. This is the trap that keep happening to our sisters. It's, so what, what happens now? There's nothing I else know you so can do. So many successful, Except black, for. beautiful women that's by themselves because they make over a hundred thousand. They don't want to deal with nothing under that. And then the niggas that yeah. make what you make don't want to deal with you. It's a lot for of niggas sure. working for that county. Make eighty, ninety would make a good partner for you, but you keep looking at the number well, only. They insecure as well, too. They're intimidated. Because they it, got it, that good job. Because, it, I but I ain't gonna lie. If a woman keep throwing at you like on on That's some masculine a energy, type of woman. Every woman right. is masculine. Because I I have a friend guy. He's successful. He got his business. He say these women he's dating and they're in their forties. They all successful. They but they want to wear the pants. They want to be the man. He's like I ain't with that. That's the trick. That's, That's been happening. Trick. And, but every woman, not but I think that comes from how we be raised. We like really had some some rough upbringings, either <laughs> single parents or parents who ain't really know how to get along together. So we got again going back to what I said, growing and undoing some of the wrong shit we learned. For sure, like not right now we got all us got young boys and shit. We not necessarily teaching them boys how to be players, like yeah. how we learn. True, like, right. but that's a waste of time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But we learned that from rap and other shit. So, you know what I'm saying? You got to kind of grow and unlearn that shit together, too. Some of this relationship shit we learned. You feel me? Hmm. That woman being very masculine is a defense mechanism from watching your mama struggle and shit like that. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah, like, the real the really shit he ever said, if you want to be masculine, go clean out the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all of a sudden, you ain't What's masculine. Yeah. 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 Open this jar. <laughs> you want to like, like go change money, the tie. Money doesn't always mean provision to me. And just because you're the woman who makes the most, that don't mean you can lead in every aspect. It's certain shit that you're going to be SME in, and certain shit I might be the SME in. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Subject matter expert. expert. Bro, y'all niggas too smart. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You the SME. You niggas too smart, man. <laughs> shit. Nah, but, but that, nah, I ain't gonna, that, that's Everything real. y'all just said, I ain't gonna lie. I agree with. See, that's why we gotta be patient with each other. Man, I learned the phrase, have grace with people. That shit made me stop. Grace. If I'm yeah. smart and I think you dumb because I know something, that's not me having grace for you. You know something I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, we gotta just be patient with each other. see it from a different angle. You feel yeah. me? Just gotta see it from my angle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of having patience. It's not about having, because I done, I built myself up to be able to handle myself in a certain way. He went to shit eater sleeping on her grandma couch because she had a Benz and a Louis bag. He thought she was something. Some niggas be and losers, I though. Was, you don't need them, What though. I was doing, and now I built myself up, mm. it's like, where the man at that can match my match? I'm not mm. where I fully want to be in my career, but mm. I need a man that's come. I don't want no dude at his mama house or his grandma house. Those are the best ones. No Diddy, no Diddy. No Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> That don't have a car. I don't want to do with four kids and four five baby mamas. I don't want. I don't want to do that. Just work at Walmart. So what was your mind? You probably was. Let's say if you fell for that, you probably was twenty four, right? I ain't calling your age out. You're not supposed to do that. But let's say if you get more mature, 
you shouldn't be falling for that no more. And every dude ain't that. You probably was like, yo, I, this this nigga <clears throat> was so fly. Or I remember he was crazy. Like he was raw in high school. Like how do you get so into that So it was things that made you fall Not for that at first. I recently got into a situation where I stepped out my box. He's a nine to five guy. He was a CEO. <laughs> On paper, looked good. Mm. Fine. Had older kids, so I let him pass. Mm. I got two little kids. Mm. He had a car, but recently divorced, so he's living with his. Well, it went downhill. Down Sound great. There. Okay, you a CEO. You got a career. You can make money. Okay, start dating him. Insecure as fuck. Mad because me as a nurse, I can take a trip back to back. And say, oh, well, you God, damn, going again? Who are you going with? You are a scammer. <laughs> who are you right. going with? I can do that. Who paid for this trip? You only work two days a week. <laughs> you going by yourself? But that's a, pers- that's yeah. a personality thing. Well, I don't but know. No, Why ain't it by me? I, I, but my point of is I lower my standards. Because I don't want nobody... So let, let me let me let me give you. I don't want you if you stand with your mama. But I, don't, I think. But you probably don't trust women lower their standards a lot in dating. Bro. That's for what sure. I be thinking. For sure. And then when I go around like other men, bro, I be like. It ain't a lot of stand up men out here, bro. Yeah, I agree. And the yeah. ones that is stand up, they ain't trying to be. I think I think they lower their standards a lot. Of I people. feel like yeah. it go both ways. I feel like it's a double edged sword. For sure. sure. I ain't gonna lie. No, you feel like that because you're a qualified man, so you like. <laughs> I, I can have my. I, I do. I, ain't gonna lie, I do see a lot of but, women dating people. I'm like, know, why? Why are you doing that? About, bro, I ain't gonna hate on you, but like, why are you doing that? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So they they got the drop. They said, bro, a lot of the, a lot of these topics I be saying, bro, it be girls in my DM like, how you feel about it? Cause it, like she said, it be nurses who yeah. make three times more than they dudes, and they be like, mm-hmm. I mean, I see it. I say, boy, some opinions out here. So yeah. what? So what it you is. do, like, as a female, what y'all do, like, your slim pickings? You lock into work, or do you still like have hope for love? Oh, you lock into work. Just be like, fuck it. You love your I got work. Kids. Yeah, really I gotta adjust though. Y'all do y'all be kinda looking for damn, I don't want to sound like one of them lame red pill niggas. Red pill, fresh. And, and I can't say that because I've been one of the people who I'm about to talk about in the sense of the cool fact. Do you feel me? But I also like really try to be like on my shit education wise, career wise, and all that. But sometimes y'all just go for the person who only cool. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like, and then there's a lot of dudes that I meet now that I'm like, all right. This is a well put together dude, but I can see that he don't got the same kind of it factor as maybe this person. I know he get all the women. I'm finna say, AK, that boy ain't got no hope. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, hey man, nigga, but I'm like, damn, bro, make two hundred ninety thousand. He had this. He had that. He had SME. It's such a subject matter expert for some biomedical shit. Yeah, but I could tell him like, bro, he I know you're not cool with black women. He locked into yeah. his work. You he don't get that. Stay cool. Black women grew up liking Jim Jones and niggas who they like <laughs> gangster and tough. And it's every version that even white women they like real men that they got that masculine energy. Sometimes these dudes don't have it, like projected. But if you probably get to know him, you're like, man, you know what? It's a stand up motherfucker. He don't seem gangster, but he'll slap the shit out of somebody for me. I need 50. But I am the type of woman that people be telling me, you so, so good. You so, I know how to turn it down, but mm. the first thing they say, find me what part? Opalaka. Oh, oh Lord. I know you a fighter. Oh, oh Lord. Know. It's an Opalaka <laughs> episode. But I need a guy that I know you still how cars. to clean up, put that suit on, and go in front of a person and speak. And I need a dude that got to look. I don't want no lame man. You probably be walking but by a lot of them the though. Hype that yeah. I can swag my man up. I don't That's what I'm saying. You, you, lame, you, long as you, you can read. That might be the twenty percent you can fix. <laughs> you can okay, read. <laughs> you in the hospital? I know you. All the black dudes, if they in there, motherfuckers got master degrees and shit like that. But they ain't gonna be cool like them niggas from Open Lock and Bunch Park. And, and gonna- that's okay. That's okay. But but, but you you spend a lot more I, of your life liking that than this and, and, and dude who might be lame. Age now I see the difference. And I, like I said, I try to step outside my box. Mm. Met a pharmacist in the hospital. Weird. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was. I was like, okay, a pharmacist. He got, he got money. I'm gonna shop so at Lulu Lemon. <laughs> but I can't be weird. And then, you know, <laughs> on our first day, I'm not gonna come to your house and get a tour of your house. So you can chop me up a little piece and kill me. No, I'm yeah, not doing right. that. That's weird. Right. That's true. So it's like, what, where do I go? Right now, I'm I'm stuck into better, you know, further in my career. But I'm still, I, I still want love. I still, I know one day I'm going to get a, a good black man. I want a black man. You're going to find you a Jim Jones pharmacist. Oh <laughs> I, but that's what I need, though. That's what I need. 
That's a needle in a haystack. Yeah, I'll we, just finna say, good one percent. We need. We, we need, got need. tattoos on his neck and can put you some no. ibuprofen together. We need more gangster lawyers. I'm gonna go back to what he said. Um, like choosing the lame guy. Nine times out of ten, the lame guy is insecure. Fair. Also true. Nine yeah. times out of ten, they're also insecure. true. You never had none. There's no, yeah. there's no experience. It's like what, what? This girl got everything. I ain't mm-hmm. never been able to get insecure. no woman. She got everything. Why is she dealing with me? She insecure. gotta have two other niggas. On but it just be, a, it be a cool fact that us people from the hood got that we ain't gonna really be finding outside of like you from Opelika, we from the city, Kara City, all this, mm-hmm. like. People f- who not from them areas is gonna always be that little disconnect. You get what I'm saying? Like that ain't what we was used to growing up. Like it, right now, for us, we men, we used to seeing girls get their hair done, done. So you get somebody who grew up around white people and they edges look crazy. We're gonna be doing the same thing. She could be the best woman in the world. I'm like, damn, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm used to seeing somebody here laid. Yeah, that boy just cooked. That's gonna be crazy. I'm always gonna be cringing when I see your edges looking crazy because I'm used to my mama hair being done, (laughs) Mm -hmm. my sister, my girls, everybody. We just used to a certain thing, but we fucked up. I, I I can do I can do dirty Chuck I can do dirty Chuck Taylors on a female, but I can't do dirty J's or some raggedy heels. I'm looking at you crazy, like what you got going? On? He like ish. Man, you're, you're a foot guy. Right. That used to get me in tally. Like, yeah. Damn. But that's why I said that word fucked up because yeah. the girls down here, some of them had the best hair dude get their hair done two three times a week. Hey, that's it. Nothing in that purse. That's it though. <laughs> It's trident in that motherfucker. <laughs> right? you, you about to come on with a whole burden on me. Hey. But you fine, though. Oh, you fine as fuck. You came to the club with a dollar. It's a trident. You just knew you, everything was free. Damn, that's not like a take one night. Yeah, hey, that's what I said. That's, we fucked up. We hey. fucked up down here, bro. Hey, you seen that shit on Chase Green just posted, too? It's like similar to this topic where he had like the 50 50 thing? Yeah, but like other races. Yeah, yeah. yeah. other races. They yeah. down to do the 50 They 50. don't care. He actually like, white Spanish people like, oh yeah, we've been 50-50. Oh yeah, um, I had to take care of him. I told him to quit his job and go pursue his dreams. And I said I was going to hold it down for him. Mm. And then he showed up mm. after three years. When you get married, you're going to throw all that shit in one account. You probably go put a little stuff to the side for you. But most of the time, it's going to be end up being 50-50 anyway. <laughs> yeah, man. Before we, we get too far into this gender war, you feel me? I know we about to... 140, 150 in, boy. This was, this was one of them episodes. This was a dope episode at the school yeah. special. I'm already knowing. We, we, we got it. I have really. a question before you do your little wrap up. Okay. How do y'all feel about the 50 50? Because you didn't make one sound. Oh, man. Yeah. Y'all got to make it quick. I know these cameras about to die. It, dep- oh. it depends on where I'm at. Like it, when I was working for. What do you mean 50 50 for us? <clears throat> but like relationships, it dep- Like I watched a woman, I watched my old girl really have to do some shit. So it's like I don't really be having. I don't have the respect that I should have for women who feel like they ain't got to do shit. Like, I'm going to treat you a certain type of way. Like, it's for fun. We can have fun. But, like, I'm not building nothing with you because I think about it. If I got my business and something happened in my business, I'm going through litigation. Can I depend on you or are you depending on me? So you wait. depending on me, you might be gone. Man, look. Well, I ain't take the I, I'll say this. <laughs> like, I, well, like I was talking about with you, if I can't even come close to your income, like your income is kind of like, you on a different tier, then it'll be stupid for me to waste my time trying to be 50-50 there. But like being a real man for you and the family, but still showing effort and adding value to the house. And like, you know, at some place it got to be 70-30 in some kind of feel, you know what I'm saying? Because clearly you, we 80-20 with your income. You feel Mm -hmm. me? So I think like as long as that, but if everything is on one person, then that's not a relationship. And that's I, one person carrying the next person. And I person. kill lizards. <laughs> like, that, I catch all that, that shit alive. Yeah. I'm a real man. If I'm, and and I'm, that's like, that that's shit. like an extra 10%, so it's never going to be 50-50. <laughs> but you're not killing no lizards. <laughs> I be I'm catching and releasing. The shit ain't 50-50. <laughs> if I'm dealing with a woman and she making way more money than me, I'm trying to help her move this business. Like, what you got to do moving r- around wise? Let me do that part. Mm-hmm. And you just shit. use your mind. Y'all so see what he did? Like, hiring. he went le- uh, This shit be not crazy. Not hiring. You ain't got to hire me. You got to be crazy. You got to hire me. I'm going to be crazy. Feet later. I, I grew up. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up thinking men off the body. So the 50-50 thing for me. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I just feel like I got the Yeah, provide. back then. Uh, but, bro, I ain't going to lie. You go to these tech events. It's it's not the same as back then. Like, say back in the day. work. 
That's a man's job. Now yeah. a woman can make can that kind it. of money oh, yeah. from being in the office. So it's like that don't even count no more. There's no rules to this I'm shit. Just my my household right like. But I'm I feel you. I'm I'm gonna, I said that you was raised that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I said all the time. I said I feel black men. We as a whole, we drop the ball, bro. We drop the ball. Start with education, as a whole, bro. Oh, whoa, whoa. oh, as a whole, bro. It we drop like the ball. It. It like mm-hmm. We drop the ball. I bro, our women settle. Yeah. Overall, I wouldn't say. Don't get them that. It wasn't nothing for niggas to do, though. <laughs> so, look, don't get them that I, I want to agree with you, and I do at some point. But it's like, you've seen provision early growing up. Some of us didn't. I'm, I'm one of them that didn't. So, seeing that model helped you. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Seeing, not seeing that model for me, I had to learn that by myself. Yeah. That part. Right. You I don't know nothing but so, to get yeah, it. Yeah. As a whole, we dropped the ball. And I may be one person that dropped the ball. Mm-hmm. Now I might have been bringing in eighty thousand and still didn't know how to. Let me do this. Let me trust this person enough to split or mm-hmm. pay everything for yeah. them. No, I'm, it's, it's not even overall, bro. Women got to settle for sure. They got to settle, bro. For sure. But they the most we, educated they, though. They, they, they yeah, yeah. so it but all goes. We, 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 we settle too, though. We, we settle, settle a lot, we settle but everybody. not as we're much what? as them, bro. If we paying for our relationship, you gotta realize we not selling. We picking. No, we are We pick on the low. We pick. We don't have the perfect. You feel me? But we still some things that they're missing. We just be like, all right. But we still picking the best of the best of what we want. To them. It's hard for them to pick the best of the best because the best changed. of the best be taken. But look, they they right. got the share or it's get them all right. But what we can do, right. like, instead of yeah. making excuses, we got to get as educated. Not that yeah. it's only education because like I said, you can make money in construction and all these yeah. these labor fields and, and be an entrepreneur. But well, the route they took with the education, that turned yeah. y'all up and it kind of outpaced. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. what black men was doing. But now it's time for black men to Another catch one. up. Mm-hmm. Another one bites the dust. I ain't lying, wrap it up, Look, yeah, yeah, wrap it up. I say, I ain't eating two days. They got me in a headlock. Look, my last thing, because I was- Oh, there we go. Oh, God. God. Another last thing. Ain't another thing. Ain't another thing. Ain't another, ain't but I just heard this, and it, it really- Another one it, bites it really the dust. It really stuck to me. <laughs> a man will walk into a relationship and accept the woman for what she is. That part. A woman will walk into a relationship and already have it in her head how she wants him to be. That part. That's true. That's going back to that romantic <laughs> shit, agree? like I'm used to this kind <laughs> of romance. Do ah, <laughs> you agree? She don't like I that. I agree, and I had to learn that the hard way. Stop trying to make people be what I want yeah, them to be, yeah. and accept mm. them for who they already are, yeah. and either deal with it or not deal with it. Nobody mm. perfect. Yeah. Gross. Yeah. All right, we finna we have just talked about that too. Women me. being that when it comes to relationships, yeah, yeah. men, I think we approach it reality. Y'all approach it fantasy, like for sure. Yeah, I learned that. The hard he way. look. He. he I don't know if he what I want him to be. He can I'm be gonna try to make him. Yeah. He can pr- he make it no he nigga nothing. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all relax, man. I ain't in two days. That's me. Please. Damn, we just healed the black community. Yeah, we, we need to part two. Part two. Yeah. We're going to name this episode Open Lock. We need, <laughs> we need to get Farrakhan in here. <laughs> But well, make sure y'all like, subscribe, man. Make sure y'all follow the Instagram, Flystone the 305. And you can let them know one more time where they can find you. Where they make can sure find you guys you. check out Stash House Miami on Instagram and Shoe Heaven Call on Instagram, all platforms. And she do 50 yep. 50. So, mm-hmm. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. And if you chop wood, you ain't got to have a job. That's it. I know I chop some wood. <laughs>